Stamp Duty Amendments Bill 2023. Members' motion with no legislative effects. Mr. Duncan Chiu will move a motion on a united the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the developments of the Greater Bay Area. Members have been informed that the President has accepted, accepted the recommendation of the House Committee and has decided to extend the duration of this debate so that all members who wish to speak on the motion will be able to do so. Members who wish to speak, please press the Request to Speak button. I now call upon Mr. Duncan Chiu to speak and move the motion. Madam Deputy, I move... I thank the Chief Executive for arranging the historic, the his, the very meaningful visits to the GBA. This is the first time that the Executive Branch and the Legislative Branch of the Hong Kong SAR government paid a joint visit to the GBA. Now, as mentioned by the CE, we have paid a visit to Guangdong, Guangdong Shenzhen, Dongguan, Foshan. It covers youth development, INT, arts and culture, and also environmental protection. We believe that this is a new point of new starting points of collaboration. We will collaborate with other GBA cities to promote developments in the GBA. I also thank the President, Mr. Andrew Leung, for accepting me and my colleagues' proposal to have the debate time for this motion extended so that everyone can speak. Madam Deputy, as a member from the INT field, I have a lot of opinion, a lot of hope to the visit. Now, there were two focuses. INT and arts and culture. Now, in terms of INT, we have paid a visit to Tencent, BYD, and also Huawei, and also Meidi. Uh, we have paid a visit to the R&D centers, and w we learned firsthand how well they have been doing. Now, Tencent is, INT, is leading in the INT, Huawei in telecommunication, and KUKA, uh, the ro robotics technology leads the world. Now, these will be the new directions for us to grow. Now, last year, presidency gave us very important status. One is International INT Center, and the second one is developing an East meets West cultural exchange hub. Now, we understand that there is a lot of synergy between Hong Kong and other GBA cities. So we share a heavy burden. That is, we have to integrate better with the GBA to complete these to accomplish these two missions. In recent times, the government has allocated more resources to INT. Now, f five months after the after Professor Sun Dong came into office, there is the blueprint on INT, and now we have the Northern Metropolis Development Blueprint, and also we have the VA Development Policy Statements, and also the Race Plus Program, combining the efforts between the governments research institutes, and also the industry. It shows our determination. Now, Hong Kong and other GBA cities are doing their best to promote INT. In many, GB, in many GBA cities, they have a sound foundation for INT developments, and there is sound achievements made. Now, we have to think about how we can promote the next round of developments with our complementary streams. Now, in this visit, we have seen a lot of projects. We have tried the Sky Shuttle, and we have seen a lot of robots. We have to think about whether these technologies will suit us and whether they will benefit our developments into a smart city. Now, I have mentioned this in the past. In terms of procurement, the government has neglected or even discriminated against INT products manufactured in the mainland. The government has a tendency to procure INT solutions from overseas. In fact, there are lots of premier INT products in the mainland, as shown in this visit. Now, I hope the government can pay more attention to INT solution of quality in the mainland. More opportunities or more procurement should be based in the mainland to select these products. In terms of R&D, there is still a lot of room for improvement in terms of synergy between the upper, middle, and downstream industries. Now, we have to move from a user of technology to become a creator of technology. There is still a huge gap in this regard. In terms of R&D, we have a lot of quality talents, and we have some valuable technologies. However, if they are not linked with the industries, it is impossible to commercialize our R&D product. 
Now, commercialization and also application scenarios for research products is key. Now, in Foshan, we paid a visit to a robot park. It is some 400 hectare large in size. Now, we don't have these production venue. We have the team, we have the talents, and we have the race plus scheme. And also, $10 billion have been injected into the fund for commercialization of R&D products. Now, if we want to see more R and D local R and D results commercialized, we have to have the setting in terms of manufacturing facilities, ancillary supports, talents, and capital. Now, the GBA cities in the mainland have a lot of capacity in in terms of the areas I mentioned in Foshan and Dongguan. There are lots of enterprises willing to cooperates with Hong Kong. So we hope that we can move from a user to a creator of INT. We have to make good use of the resources in the GBA. The production line in the GBA has been lauded for its reasonable cost and also its efficiency. Now with the one country, two systems advantage in terms of governance standard, our connection with the world, financial connectivity as well as our sound legal system, we can collaborate with the GBA so that we can achieve invented in Hong Kong and made in GBA. And we can even move towards the international stage. Madam Deputy, talents and enterprises are the keys for INT developments. The government has adopted proactive measures to compete for talents and enterprises, including the Top Talent Pass scheme launched recently. The OASIS was established for attracting talents. On the other hand, to retain these talents, we have to have the matching job opportunities for these talents. So I hope the government can strive to introduce more state laboratories and frontier industries to Hong Kong so as to attract more frontier talents to come and stay in Hong Kong for development. Now, with the new development blueprints in the nation, GBA is the national strategy. Hong Kong and other GBA cities are sisters. We have to serve up. We have to give full play to our strength as um, under one country, two systems. We have to be a facilitator. We have to collaborate with other GBA cities to increase growth impetus and also collaborate our efforts to create an international Bay Area, which is an INT hub and drive high quality growth and help the country to become a, a strong country and realize modernization of the Chinese people and achieve rejuvenation. I look forward to hearing from members and then I will make a response. I hope members will support my motion on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the developments of the GBA. Mr. Duncan Chiu, please move your motion. Madam Deputy, I move that my motion, that is uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the developments of the GBA, be passed. I now propose the question to you that Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion be passed. Secretary for Constitutional and Mainland Affairs. Madam Deputy, first of all, I'm really grateful to Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving this motion on um, uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. The Hong Kong Special Administrative Region has already perfected um, the electoral system with the guidance from the central authorities and uh, support. Uh, we have now implemented uh, fully the uh, patri Patriots uh, running Hong Kong, and also uh, we are able to ensure that the one country, two systems uh, will be able to um, go long and uh, to, uh, to go long and stay and steady. And uh, we are now able to have um, good governance and uh, ensure long-term stability and prosperity. And uh, we have created a new scene. And we, this is also a critical time for us to take off. Uh, well, under the leadership of the chief executive, the executive and the legislature have been working together in a um, beneficial manner. And uh, there has been a lot of uh, good collaboration. And uh, we've been able to... Uh, lift ourselves uh, out of the three-year pandemic uh, difficulty, and we are now reviving the economy. We're working together to um, uh, achieve um, good economic development and also uh, fight for 
uh, benefits for our society and uh, well-being for our people. And uh, under the leadership of the um, of President Xi, uh, the development of the Greater Bay Area has been a very important strategy for our country, and it's also the momentum for development for Hong Kong. And um, on the 1st of July last year, Mr. President Xi also made an important speech, and he uh, emphasized time and again that we will have to continue to develop, and uh, high-quality development in the GBA will also become one of the uh, most important tasks of the special administrative region government. And therefore, in order to achieve success, we will have to call upon all sectors of the community to work together, including members of this council, so that we'll be able to achieve success um, and um, realize the dream for the GPA to become a place where people would live happily and work happily and travel here. And um, we will be able to contribute to the success of our country. In order to ensure that members will be able to have a deeper understanding of uh, the latest development in the GBA cities, uh, and also to enable us to work together with the government to plan for the future development, the SAR government has now organized this um, visit uh, to the GBA. And it's also a delegation led by the CE together with members of this council. And this is also one of the major uh, joint visits uh, conducted in this term of the government with this council and therefore is particularly important and meaningful. And um, to do this, uh, we'd like to uh, express our special thanks to the central authorities for their support and also the different uh, governments in the Guangdong province and its uh, GPA cities. Uh, because during the four-day visit, uh, um, uh, we managed to visit uh, many authorities and departments, and as some members have said, uh, this is a very enriching visit. As some members said, uh, we have managed to pay visits uh, to INT and also smart cities, environmental protection, and also youth development, as well as some cultural sites. Uh, and um, that has enabled us to have a very deep understanding of uh, the different situations in the various uh, or in the individual cities in the GBA. In the process, we have also managed to have very um, in-depth uh, exchanges with the uh, leaders of the provincial and city governments, and um, that has also promoted uh, mutual understanding and collaboration between the two sides. On top of that, um, the SAR officials as well as uh, members of this council have also been able to have uh, deep exchanges and communication with all the various uh, stakeholders and uh, we have been able to work together to ensure that uh, under the executive leadership and also be the Patriots running Hong Kong's uh, principles, we would be able to work together to uphold uh, our sovereignty, security and development interests and that would be in the interest of the long-term prosperity and stability of Hong Kong. On this occasion, our visitors have successfully sent out a very clear message. That is, uh, we have this uh, positive message that uh, if we can work together, we'll be able to integrate into the national development uh, plan, and we will also be able to ensure that there would be a prosperity for all sectors uh, of the community and everybody. In order to achieve this, um, we, we have already convened this is steering group um, on integrating with the national development strategy, and we have already convened two meetings. Um, under the 1 plus 3 plus 2 model, that is under the strengthened leadership uh, framework, uh, we have been able to have a tri tripartite uh, uh, approach uh, in making adjustments and adaptation so that uh, there would be coordination for the policy bureaus as well as the uh, works departments to promote the progress of these uh, projects. And also, we would also be uh, setting up um, uh, targets uh, so that we can rec we can regularly uh, monitor the progress and give uh, appropriate guidance in, in in a timely manner in order to ensure that there would be effective and timely completion of the targets. And the steering group would also be promoting the various uh, works projects uh, and set priorities to ensure that uh, there will be high quality development in the GBA area. I welcome the motion moved by Mr. Duncan Chiu so that members will be able to express their views so that we can work together for the future development and uh, we'll be able to in integrate uh, positively into the development strategy of our country. And we would also be able to bring in more momentum for the development so that uh, we'd be able to lay a more solid foundation for the long-term development of Hong Kong. And uh, that I would be listening very carefully to your views and I'll be responding uh, uh, later. Thank you. Chen Pui Liang, Yi Yu. Mr. Chen Pui Leung, thank you, Madam Deputy. Now, the GBA development is 
the country's national strategy. GBA is the most open area region in the country. Now, there are lots of frontier industries and state enterprises. There is much for us to learn. When we are on the path to recovery, I am grateful to the arrangements made by the government and the electrical so that we can pay so that we can pay visits to the GBA as well as different leading enterprises to witness the rapid developments of the GBA in recent, in recent years and on how we can encourage collaboration. Now, we have visited four cities in the GBA. The areas include the areas we focused on include smart city and youth development and environmental protection. Now, I am very deeply moved by the developments in the GBA. Say, for example, the BYD manufacturing base, the Sky Shuttle, and also the latest digital developments, and the city brain of Foshan, that is a centralized platform where data is collated for city management. Now, Hong Kong has a high population density, and there are lots of latent risk. If we, if we can combine the the monitoring function, research function, and also executive function in one center, we can address risk in the city effectively. Now, I would like to mention the Guoxilin um, robotic company in Foshan. Now, this company has a lot of collaboration with our industries. Now, there is an indoor painting or uh, indoor paint spraying robots. The, uh, the government has introduced these robots for use in a project in Qingyi. In 15 minutes, all the walls are painted up with a 90% coverage. Now, this kind of robots for renovation and construction purposes will play a key role in our construction industry, especially the we have a shortage of manpower. The Construction Industry Council expects 40,000 40, shortage in year 2027. Now, we are at a peak of development. There are lots of major infrastructure to take forward. And also, we have to enhance land and housing supply to meet people's demand. So appropriate introduction of robots to replace manpower and moving from conventional construction methods to smart construction can enhance the efficiency of our projects. This can also reduce the health risk of workers and enhance occupational safety and health. Now, this technology is worth introducing to Hong Kong. Now, under the 14 five-year plan, Hong Kong was given the status as an international INT hub. Now, we have to rely on our own strength, and we also have to give play to each other's complementary strength to achieve a win-win situation. The blueprints for INT development mentioned deepening collaboration in INT with the mainland. Now, this is a good start. The visit furthered collaboration between Hong Kong and the mainland cities and explore collaboration in the field of INT. Suitable technologies can be introduced for use in Hong Kong. Now, the government and many members uh, will follow up on these possibilities. Now, we have moved from stability to prosperity. Now, with better collaboration between the executive and legislative branch, we can give play to our strategic position. We can only move forward. We can't afford to stay behind. I so submit I support Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion. Ms. Rebecca Chen. Madam Deputy, I speak in support of Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. Now, with the support of the country, Hong Kong has our electoral system improved, and we have the we have patriots in administrative roles. There is comprehensive improvements between in the relationship between the government and the legislature. I can feel that in my daily work. In case of important issues, officials would take initiative to exchange with us, and there are a lot, of, a lot, a lot more exchange opportunities between us and the government. Now, this has strengthened the relationship between members and officials, and officials are able to respond to inquiries and issues rapidly on a policy level and on the community level. 
the public has been benefited because of this. Now, yesterday I referred a complaint to EEB, that is um, recycling trucks parking on roadside causing public health concern. Now, I understand that as the in the afternoon of the same day, the departments have addressed the case and handled the case. This is very speedy, and it shows that the improvements of executive legislative relationship can benefit people's livelihood. Now, the GBA development gives play to our role as International Financial Center and International Transport and Logistics Center. Now, we can tap the opportunity brought about by the GBA developments. So besides addressing livelihood issues, this is another key task for the government. Now, last month, the CE led a delegation formed by council members to visit four cities. In Shenzhen, we had a taste of the smart transport system of Sky Shuttle. And in Foshan, we learned how robots work. And also, we learned about how different GBA mainland cities are handling work in relation to conservation, youth work, and so on. Now, these are the key tasks of any government. On the operational level, for example, using smart tools and big data to manage traffic and improve cleanliness, and also policies to incentivize property owners to retain and revitalize their heritage. We can learn much from them, and we can learn from each other's example and benefits both places. Now, my hometown is Foshan. We share the same language, and we have the same traditions and culture. This is very, this is very good for us to exchange. Now, this is only the starting point. In the future, I believe there will be more platforms and more themes under which we can exchange our experience. Now, in terms of city policies and also collaboration in terms of policy, the governments would communicate with the main authorities. However, council members and community organizations can also organize exchange in the GBA. So besides studying a certain theme, we can also promote Hong Kong to GBA cities and facilitate collaboration. Council members from different sectors can make use of their network to connect with the industries in the GBA to tell GBA cities and stakeholders Hong Kong's advantages. This can also serve the important purpose of facilitating connection. Now, on my part, before the visit, I also went to Foshan, my hometown, for other reasons. I participated in exchange sessions on different issues, and I also studied the developments in cultural conservation and so on in Foshan. Now, a lot of support has been given to Hong Kongers who pursued a career in the GBA. Now, the council members and also community organization have to convey these messages to our young people. And also, I hope that within the council, council members can tell good stories of Hong Kong in GBA actively. That's why I speak in support of the original motion moved by Mr. Duncan Chiu. Thank you. Mr. Ronick Chen. Thank you, Madam Deputy. Under the principle of patriots administering Hong Kong and the improved electoral system, the executive authorities and the legislature are no longer two independent bodies. They are the major bodies for governing Hong Kong, helping Hong Kong to make contribution to the country. GBA development is the important entry point on how we can contribute to the country's development. Now, we have to ensure that the executive branch and the legislature are working closely together. I thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving this motion to urge the government to unite the executive and legislature to develop the GBA. Now, we have to have positive interplay between the government and the legislature. Since the coming into term of office, since the coming into office, the government has been organizing different activities for exchange with us, including the anti-chamber exchange and also 
explanation by principal officials on major policies and also learning the spirit of two sessions together with council members and also making paying visits. Now, earlier this month, there was a friendly football match between the government and the legislative council members, and also there are luncheon meetings with members. Now, this is an unprecedented, unprecedented level of collaboration. Now, last month, led by the as led by the chief executive, we learned about the smart transport, city management, arts and culture, and also youth developments in the GBA. We learned about the development opportunities in the mainland, and also learned a lot about innovative ideas for developments. GBA cities in the mainland have developed at tremendous pace, and we realize that there is a huge gap between them and Hong Kong. Now, together with members, we all, governments and council members, all have a consensus that we have much to catch up. Now, we can learn much from our neighbors. I believe that this visit will give government officials a lot of inspiration on how to address livelihood issues. Say, for example, the Sky Shuttle constructed by the BYD, there is a lot of advantage in terms of construction timetable, energy usage, and cost. Now, this should there are lots of views that it should become an alternative mode of transport for Hong Kong. Now, and also, the underground research facilities are a good option for Hong Kong, which lack land. Now, in Dongguan, we saw a lot of revitalized heritage buildings, and also there are gourmet trucks for young people to set up their own business. Now, we also have gourmet trucks. However, there are lots of regulations to comply with, including fire safety, FEHT requirements, and so on. A lot of people are being put off by the idea. Now, in the mainland, the gourmet trucks entry threshold is very low, and this is a very colorful business, and it thrives in many mainland cities. It can meet the need of young people in terms of gourmet experience, and it also provides another option for people to uh, in, as a form of leisure. Now, under the Happy Hong Kong movement uh, campaign, we should also learn from the mainland. Now, I also talked with some young people in the mainland. We understand deeply how the city's policy measures on helping them get housing and get employed incentivize them to move upward. Now, besides the GBA Youth Entrepreneurial Basis, we have also we must also offer more comprehensive policies to support young people in Hong Kong so that they can thrive. Now, this joint visit has reactivated the communication channel with mainland authorities. I believe that with the channel reactivated, we can reach consensus faster and also lay a foundation for GBA developments. The government should ride on this opportunity and take forward the projects under study and catch up with the mainland cities and also achieve command, command, please, complementarity with the mainland cities. Thank you. Mr. Gary Chen, thank you, Madam Deputy. First of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving the motion on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead uh, with the development of the GBA. Well, the national strategy on uh, developing the GBA definitely will be the main st stream of development for us. And we have already reached a consensus uh, earlier on. The chief executive led a delegation to the GBA for a visit. And in fact, uh, during that visit, uh, we saw a number of uh, projects. And we also witnessed a lot of new technology, including new energy vehicle, and also robots, and also cultural and arts development, and also a lot of um, his, uh, a lot of new technologies being developed. And what impressed me most uh, was uh, when I was in Guangzhou, I went down to see the um, the um, the water um, filtering plant, and um, it's really not a new technology. But then um, I was deeply impressed because, um, well, most of our water 
treatment facility would be located uh, um, above ground. Uh, and uh, we are also working on some new idea for uh, for the uh, Ma Liu Shui uh, water treatment plant. Uh, it would be uh, relocated uh, to a cave so that uh, the site can be um, uh, if can be uh, vacated uh, for other residential developments. But then in Guangzhou, their developments and technology would be somewhat more advanced uh, than ours. If we had been able to witness that uh, ten eight years ago, then uh, in planning our developments and facilities, then we would have been able to make reference uh, to their strategy and uh, we could also have a new uh, mindset uh, instead of just doing this uh, that late uh, because uh, it would um, cost a lot of time and energy. So spending more time to make reference to others um, uh, examples um, and also experience would uh, benefit us. Uh, and I also noticed that uh, after the visit, many of our co uh, colleagues uh, have also brought up uh, some of the interesting projects that they that they had visited and they would also share their uh, insight into those uh, projects. And of course, uh, that's very good. But then to me, well, today, we have been very fortunate that uh, Mr. Duncan Chiu has moved this motion today. On top of that, uh, what other opportunities will there be for us to share the experience that we got uh, during the visit so that that can be converted uh, into some useful ideas for the administration. So apparently, we don't have that mechanism in place. Yes, you might say that uh, on the mainland, um, they've been doing a remarkable job on certain items, but then in terms of our uh, technology and in terms of uh, rules and regulations, uh, that may not be applicable to Hong Kong. We may not be able to readily borrow their experience. We would also have to relax uh, and deregulate somewhat before we can do it. But then after visiting those uh, projects, uh, we would also be able to translate that into some concrete proposals uh, to the administration. And uh, the administration might in turn tell us that uh, we might need to do some fine tuning uh, before that can be applied to Hong Kong. And uh, that may also not be feasible in Hong Kong. And therefore, we really need to have a mechanism to effectively deal with uh, such uh, uh, proposals or else, um, it, well, um, well, I believe that uh, there are more such visits to come. But then if we it's just uh, confined to visiting those projects, it's not going to be very meaningful. And therefore, we will have to know exactly what is happening uh, on the other side and uh, what can be um, uh, learned from that. So you might say that we would be able to post some posts on Facebook, and then we can also write articles uh, to newspapers and so on. So I think uh, what can be applied in Hong Kong would be the most important part of it. Uh, and therefore, that's uh, the food for thought for both the administration and us. And therefore, now that we have some concrete uh, mechanism set up uh, for interaction, okay, we have had that visit, uh, we have been able to see for ourselves uh, what is happening. And therefore, now we have the opportunity for us to have better exchanges so that we can all roll up our sleeves and work on those ideas. So I think both the executive and the legislature will have to work together on that. Thank you. Next, uh, Mr. Chen Xiu Hong. Thank you, Madam Deputy. I speak. Um, um, in gratitude uh, to Duncan Chiu's uh, motion on uh, uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead uh, with the development of a GPA. Well, after we have uh, improved our electoral system, we have now got uh, good governance and uh, this is a new era for us. Uh, we can see that the administration has been working very proactively in liaising with this council after setting up the mechanism for us to um, exchange views with officials in the anti chambers last year. Um, we have also got this new mechanism. And last month, uh, the chief executive also led a delegation to visit uh, the GBA to look at uh, different areas of development so that uh, we can visit different projects and sectors. We would be able, we were able to understand uh, what is happening on the mainland. And uh, other than the chief executive, we also have uh, policy uh, bureau directors um, joining the delegation. So this is a concrete example of uh, how the executive and the legislature can work together to forge ahead um, with the development um, uh, with the Greater Bay Area. So we'll be able to learn the 
learn about the strengths and weaknesses uh, of different projects uh, and we would be able to uh, exchange views with them. Now that our country has already made uh, very significant uh, progress in its development and I've also met with uh, many senior management of these uh, enterprises and they are also very keen to work together with uh, Hong Kong on various uh, fronts. But then um, Hong Kong uh, doesn't seem to be very um, uh, proactive uh, in their view. And so uh, we will have to move ahead uh, full steam, and that would require a lot of understanding, and that would require the uh, uh, the collaboration between the executive and the legislature, and therefore officials and uh, members of this council should pay more visits to the mainland so that we would understand the situation there. And in integrating into our national plan for development, we'll be able to do a better job. Well, for this uh, particular visit to the uh, GBA cities, uh, we've been able to have uh, contacts and uh, exchange with the relevant uh, parties and uh, our counterparts. And there will also be more contacts uh, in the future. I think that would be conducive. I hope that a regularized uh, mechanism can be uh, set up because uh, we would achieve, we would attach more importance uh, to the result rather than the process. And the cities are becoming more beautiful. In the past, uh, because of my work, I often went back to the uh, cities and uh, I knew them very well. And during the latest uh, visit, we can see that in terms of INT, there has been very remarkable improvement and development. And that's very impressive. So it's like uh, in the NGO engineering view. In the past, uh, Hong Kong used to be the uh, leader. But then uh, in recent years, uh, we are lagging behind. For example, in Shenzhen, they are using a lot of robots in construction, for example, uh, ceiling, uh, uh, and also in terms of painting and everything. They've been using a lot of robots. And also in terms of uh, vacuum cleaning, they're also using a lot of robots. That would also reduce uh, uh, occupational uh, in incidents and so on. In the Chengyi public housing project site, uh, we are also using uh, some of these uh, robots and we are also using uh, paint spraying robots uh, for indoor painting and so on. So I believe that uh, we can introduce more such robots that would also ease the manpower shortage problem and that would also enhance efficiency and occupational safety for workers. And also in many cities like Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Foshan, they are also using big data and also artificial intelligence so that uh, that would help uh, develop the city and also um, public order management and so on. Well, the uh, delegation also visited um, BRD and uh, we also tried out uh, the uh, Sky Shuttle and uh, we could see that uh, for ele electric buses that uh, might be uh, used in Hong Kong so that uh, in the East Kowloon transport system would be able to find a good solution because the uh, Sky Shuttle might be a way out uh, but then uh, there are also other modes of transport that can be considered. For example, they've also uh, considered the uh, monorail system um, we can also make reference to that so that we'd be able to take um, on board different ideas uh, in order to suit our needs. Well, in recent years, um, uh, mainland cities have been developing in leaps and bounds. Uh, this is undeniable, and therefore we should learn from their experience. We can also work together with GPA cities so that we'd be able to complement each other because we do have this platform connecting with the international community and uh, the mainland cities can also focus on technology development so that uh, we can develop our strengths and then we can work together to uh, contribute to our country. Thank you. Next, uh, Mr. Lam Chan Singh. Uh, thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank Duncan Chiu for moving this motion so that we can discuss uh, what we have done with the administration because there was this uh, visit uh, paid by the executive and the legislature to GBA. And uh, we have visited different projects including INT, environmental protection, youth development and other projects. And after that, I'd like to share two points with you. First, uh, in promoting new energy uh, development, I think the administration should play a more active role. For example, we visited uh, the BRD um, vehicle manufacturing plant and we have understood the latest technology in Shenzhen with the uh, support from the local government. Uh, and EV has developed um, in leaps and bounds. Uh, according to statistics, uh, as at uh, the end of 2022, Shenzhen managed to have some 900 uh, public uh, uh, transport lines and with uh, 1,600 uh, NEVs uh, moving on those lines. So with a hun almost 100% of the public transport being electricized, electricized uh, in Hong Kong, we are still uh, very much at the starting point. Well, as at February this year, amongst the uh, registered vehicles, only 59 buses are electric and also some of uh, four uh, electric taxis. 
So we have already set a target so that uh, by 2027, we will have about uh, 700 electric buses and also 3,000 uh, electric taxis, uh, and that's the target. The administration should also play a more active role. For example, financial support should be given so that public transport operators uh, can also enhance the use of uh, new energy vehicles. Uh, they can also make use of GPAs, uh, comprehensive uh, elect new energy uh, vehicles, uh, spare part supply, so that that could also foster the development and we would also be able to provide more training for talents. And in order to deal with the manpower shortage problem for the construction sector and also promote occupational safety, make good use of um, uh, latest technology is also very important. Uh, we have also visited uh, the robots uh, company in, uh, in Guangdong. And uh, we have understood that uh, in terms of development and also application of robots, uh, they can be used in different ways. For example, uh, in terms of uh, load carrying and painting and so on, uh, we can use robots for those uh, repetitive uh, processes. And um, in Hong Kong, we have also used uh, indoor paint spraying robots uh, for indoor jobs. Uh, so it, it would take only 15 to 20 minutes for a robot to paint a unit uh, for two or three people so that for walls and ceilings, they could just uh, use robots to do the paint spraying. That would enhance the work efficiency. So uh, given the rise in the number of uh, projects um, in the construction sector, we can make use of different types of robots so that they can be used um, in public works or projects as well as um, private sector projects in order to save manpower. And that would also ease the manpower shortage problem that we are encountering right now. And we also hope that the administration will conduct further assessment on the manpower need um, of the construction sector. In making such projections, we would also have to take into account uh, the um, IT developments so that uh, we can make more accurate assessment on the demand situation for manpower. In terms of occupational safety, uh, construction robots would also help enhance uh, occupational safety at con in construction sites. For example, painting robots, uh, they could also be uh, uh, used uh, for external wall painting so that uh, workers do not have to work uh, on the external walls of buildings. I think we should also uh, make reference to the experience on the mainland in order to enhance such uh, utilization. Because uh, using public funds uh, smartly doesn't just um, involve uh, projects uh, uh, that would be valued at more than $30 million. We can extend it to smaller scale construction sites in order to enhance uh, or improve for occupational safety. We managed to yield a lot of results from the visit to the GBA, and uh, that is also a very important milestone for conducive um, interaction between the executive and the legislature. Let's work together in order to further promote the uh, quality development in the GBA. I support the motion, and these are my remarks. Mr. Robert Lee, thank you, Madam Deputy. I support the motion moved by Mr. Duncan Chu. The CE led officials of the SAL government and members of uh, LegCo to visit four mainland visits for it lasted four days. This is the highest uh, level of uh, interaction uh, and visit conducted by SAL government and Hong Kong Legis SAL Legislative Council. And this is a demonstration and illustration of the harmonious relationship and the cooperation between the two. There are many companies listed in Hong Kong coming from uh, Guangdong, such as uh, Tencent and uh, B BYD. These uh, enterprises based in uh, Fusan and uh, Guangzhou and are uh, industry, industry leaders. And uh, Dongguan is also instrumental in the uh, digital the economy. And they can all be listed in Hong Kong and, they, and attracting foreign investment and capital into the Greater Bay Area. Our financial institutions can also cooperate with mainland entities, such as setting up joint ventures to explore the mainland market, or to, we can also promote high-quality development of GPA. I have a few suggestions to make here. Last September, SFCT and Shanghai uh, Authority set up 
uh, a package of 18 rules to facilitate uh, private equities in promoting uh, cap uh, startups and uh, risk and um, capital investment in Shanghai. And then all these measures uh, covered uh, the opening up of uh, banks and, and other financial institutions and also the opening up of uh, the GPA for more financial operators. Recently, I have received uh, from the industry a number of inquiries. I hope the regulatory bodies on both sides can uh, announce the relevant details for the implementation of these measures so the Hong Kong financial sector can explore their business in Shanghai and they can uh, actually uh, implement uh, their new investment plans there. And we should also use the different uh, uh, connect uh, schemes. Uh, last year, because of the pandemic, the um, turnover of uh, the, con the schemes dropped a, a little bit. In order to diversify the uh, the opening up of the connection schemes, uh, we hope that the North Fang uh, con connect schemes can can extend to SWOT and collateral markets. In the future, we should also cover the uh, Guang, Guang, Guangzhou carbon market and carbon credit, uh, carbon future uh, products should be co covered by the uh, two-way uh, connect connections and, uh, and investment scheme, promotion schemes. And we should also provide more trade, more facilitation for people traveling to and the GBA cities, and uh, we should enhance cooperation, and that we can uh, facilitate the entry of uh, foreign enterprises in into the mainland market, and also to help the main enterprises going out. I support the motion, Ms. Dr. Tik Chi Yuan, Madam Deputy. The GBA uh, is an idea that will uh, leverage on the advantages of the three parties involved so that we can complement each other and improve people's livelihood and promote uh, economic growth. GPA is not just a concept for e economic development. It has to do with our livelihood. If people are offered more choices to retire in the GPA the cities, Hong Kong people will benefit from such possibilities. Hong Kong is facing problems associated with uh, an aging community. We have been uh, talking about how we can uh, um, improve uh, elderly services. When we do this, the government would uh, tell us very honestly that we will face a problem of a lack of a shortage of land and a shortage of manpower. Well, there are a num many people uh, waiting for a mission to an elderly home. There is a shortage of uh, manpower for their for the for elderly care services. During the pandemic, we have imported labor on a short term basis to help coping to have help us coping with the problem of manpower shortage. So, how with an aging community, how are we going to cope? So here's a new idea. If the GBA, there can be more the elderly service providers and facilities, perhaps our Hong Kong elder, elders would be given more choices. Well, the three the parties in, under the GBA uh, have uh, their respective advantages. We have good regulations, we have a very good service center. And uh, the mainland has a land and manpower available. So if we can uh, leverage on their advantages, we can offer more opportunities to our elderly people and we can also enhance or promote facilitate and facilitate the upgrading of service standards in the mainland. So this would be a win-win situation for all the three parties. But to deal with this properly, we need to have a corresponding uh, 
policies and measures. For example, medical service. Many elderly people uh, are concerned what if they would be getting uh, sufficient high quality uh, medical services when if they move to the GBA. But you know that uh, there, there are medical services in some, especially those in some John are improving. We have the talent and uh, the manpower ha has the mainland cities, uh, GBA cities have the manpower. So we should need to find a way to complement each other. And we have to, uh, a mechanism to ensure quality of service. Some other members have already mentioned this. If uh, a Hong Kong elder goes to the GBA for retirement, how can we facilitate uh, easy tra traveling for Hong Kong residents so that uh, they can uh, go to the GBA to, to visit them, the, the, uh, these old elderly people, easily? Well, actually, the, the cooperation in this uh, field is nothing new. Uh, there are people in the social service sector in, who are interested in the building uh, residential homes uh, in the mainland. Of course, we should encourage uh, Hong Kong NGOs to provide uh, diversified services for Hong Kong service recipients in the GPA. So if we have a, a easy to use uh, travel system, the promotion can be facilitated. And we need the government to give the necessary support. For example, uh, Hong Kong elderly people are entitled to certain benefits uh, in Hong Kong. Can they be entitled to the same benefits if they move to the mainland? And we need to make sure that information is transparent. I hope uh, inter and, uh, and, um, a task force can be set up to, uh, comprising the government, the representatives, the NGOs and the community. I support the motion. Mr. Stephen Ho. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Duncan Chu for moving this motion on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of GPA. We visited the GPA last month. Uh, it was an eye-opener for Hong legislators. It's also a good promotion effort involving Hong Kong public. I thank the SAL government for this. If I didn't go to uh, Fosan, I wouldn't realize that uh, there was an that the Sun De, Sun De, uh, has become part of uh, Fosan because of the uh, administrative region adjustments. So I do I realized through this visit that uh, uh, Sun De is uh, actually in Fosan. We hope the government would consider doing something, not just about the introduction of uh, I I N T talent. We should also learn about from learn learn from the the decision making process of mainland authorities in uh, taking care of uh, livelihood issues, so that the government can uh, inject some vitality in the decision making process here. With the new term government established. We did see some adjustments to the bureaus. We now have the uh, Environment and Ecology Bureau. So we need, can uh, take care of both agriculture and, uh, and environmental protection. But we're talking about the high level the part of the government structure. Well, the, so people don't have a major uh, don't experience a major impact. We need to involve the Deputy uh, Chief Secretary for Administration, Mr. Chuck Wing Heng, before the things can be coordinated. But in Fosan and Sunda, once a decision is made, all the departments have to uh, share the data with the uh, top managers so that they can make the most reasonable uh, decision to to cater for people's needs. For example, there are many sensors installed there in different locations. If the uh, RSP, PM 2.5 or PM 10, uh, have exceeded certain limits, they will send an um, UAV, 
a drone to go to the location to understand what has ha happened and make and take action to address it. Or they can also uh, deliver emergency aid through drones. But for Hong Kong, even for a proposal to increase the fine for violating uh, environmental hygiene problems such as uh, lit illegal dumping and the installation of CCTV to guard against uh, illegal dumping. Well, we, are t we have been told that there will be privacy problems if we are to install CCTVs at certain locations. I hope our, dep Hong our departments can learn from the practice in the mainland to the to address our shortcomings. In the promotion of the development of GBA, the, it, it used to be a, a sort of slogan. In Zhuhai and Shamchan and Huizhou, we have implemented some projects. It's easier for Hong Kong uh, ent entities and enterprises to participate in the GBA project. But it's the It's difficult for the other way round. If we were to uh, go to the GBA to be a party to a certain program, well, we were only able to do so because uh, we take a, take, a, take a loan from the SAL government. Apart from publicity, uh, the commissioner for GBA should uh, look at how we can facilitate the entry of Hong Kong players, Hong Kong organizations to go to GBA to participate in the, in the development and also to attract GBA entities to come to Hong Kong. I hope this motion moved by Mr. Chu will be uh, the start of everything. Mr. Jimmy Ng, thank you, Madam Deputy. Mr. Duncan Chu's motion is very timely. Now, the plenary legislative council, together with the chief executive and also principal officials, paid a visit to the GBA. This is a prime example of collaboration between the executive and legislative branch. And this can be a new opportunity for Hong Kong to collaborate with the GBA cities to initiate integration. Now, the leading group has completed its work and I mean the subcommittee on developments of the GBA under the Legislative Council has completed its work and a report has been submitted covering developments in various aspects. The government only has to implement these suggestions. Now with the epidemic, we have been on a hiatus in terms of integration of the GBA. So like Mr. John Lee said, we have to catch up in terms of time and quantity. Now with the steering group led by the chief executive, there is high level policy steering. However, in terms of implementation, we rely on different bureaus. In the past, the CMAB would be the one to to negotiate, to communicate with the mainland authorities and the CDB would be in touch with the authorities. But this arrangement may not be the best. And also the Commissioner for GBA has a very unclear work portfolio. Now, I suggest establishing branches of our mainland office as well as research lab branches at different places to enhance integration. Now, in the visit, I am impressed by the BYD's cells which is a blade battery. Now, I witnessed the reaction. Now, for another kind of battery developed by other developers, the experience was a failure. But for the blade battery developed by the BYD, it was a success. Now, we stood in applause of the success. Now, a lot of blade 
batteries developed by the BYD has been are being used by the market. However, in Hong Kong, we don't have an, an application scenario for such advanced batteries. Now, since we are such an advanced economy, we can help bring in a fine application scenarios for this kind of blade battery. Now, if we can popularize uh, this kind of battery in the overseas markets, then there will be much big opportunities for BYD. So I think we have to be confident in our own advantage and give full play to our role as a connector. Now, in the GBA visit, I saw hope for developments in the INT industry. The GBA ecosystem is very robust. It is a comprehensive ecosystem, and there are a lot of frontier industries. It can fill the gap in Hong Kong. Now, according to the Global Innovation Index, the INT industry in Hong Kong, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen, this is the second largest INT cluster in the world. Now, Hong Kong can definitely join hands with our GBA brothers and become the INT hub. Now, as the Chinese saying goes, rather than sitting on the bench, why don't you join in the fray? So I think this visit is a good starting point for implementing the good ideas. I so submit. Thank you. Mr. Kenneth Lam. Thank you. I so submit. I submit. I speak in support of Mr. Duncan Chiu's original motion. Now, earlier on, the chief executive led a delegation visit to GBA cities with council members. It is unprecedented and it is meaningful on many folds. It shows the improvements in executive and legislative branches, and it also highlights the government's the importance attached by the governments to the developments of the GBA, and it shows the path forwards for GBA developments. Now, the four-day visit helped us learn a lot. Now, we visited the Brightstream Robotics in Shenzhen. Now, we met with a group of Hong Kong young people who are pursuing the dreams in the GBA. Now, it really inspired me on youth work in Hong Kong. Now, the GBA is moving towards high-quality developments. In the process of developments, this group of young people with a national and Hong Kong perspective with create creativity and youth, they are the one to promote developments in the GBA. So we have to encourage young people to learn more about the country and move to the GBA. We have to help them integrate deeper and wider in the GBA so that they can reach their, reach their dreams. Now, on youth entrepreneurship, the Guangdong and Shenzhen, as well as Hong Kong governments, have done a lot in terms of promoting entrepreneurial base and offer support to young Hong Kong people pursuing a career in the GBA cities. Now, there are nine cities in the GBA, and there are different advantages among them. And there are more and more entrepreneurial bases compared with three years ago. Now, it's the beginning stage of the business. The Hong Kong young people need someone to guide the path. So we can be the one who show them the way and how to settle down in the GBA. Now, there must be capital matching as well as mentors supporting these young people starting a business in the GBA. This will help them find a sound footing there. Now, like I said, after incubating the eggs, we have to help these younglings grow. Now, as all industry stakeholders know, after the incubation period, startups would face an uncertain period. This is called this is the so-called Death Valley period. Much consolidation in terms of resources is required so that the startups can move beyond the Death Valley. 
Now, I think the GBA Youth Entrepreneurial Alliance can play this role. The alliance connects the basis for entrepreneurs on both places, and it also links up startups with investors and also venture capitalists. Now, the purpose is to consolidate the platform for dissemination of information. This can help young people to find a sound footing in the GBA and also facilitate consolidation between the authority, the research sectors and the industry and combine the talents, create synergy and help young people, young entrepreneurs to radiate their services to the, the GBA as a whole, the country and even the world. Now, better support Policy support should be given, and the hurdles between cross-boundary move of capitals, talents, and information should be removed, so as to create a better ecosystem. Now, legislative council members should help convey the, the the aspirations of the young people in Hong Kong to achieve their aspiration. Now, the GBA developments rely on collaboration between the executive and legislative branch. I support the government in implementing all the measures under the INT blueprint, and also enhance collaboration with the GBA cities and other mainland cities so as to enhance young people's growth impetus to help them reach the dreams in the GBA. Reverend Peter Kuhn. Madam Deputy, Mr. John Lee, the Chief Executive, has led a delegation combining officials and lawmakers to visit four GBA cities, and we learned about the latest developments in these four cities. I think this visit is very fruitful. Now we have visited BYD, Dajiang Corporation, and Huawei. These are leading enterprises in the world, in the country. The developments has been astonishing. Now we can learn much from their governance and governance governance experience and their research model, and it was really inspiring for us. Now the key meaning from this visit is that under the principle of patriots administering Hong Kong, there is positive interaction between the executive and legislative branch. It also helps us contribute more to the GBA complementary development and achieve high quality development. Now, Madam Deputy, for a very long time, the majority of Hong Kong people has a bias against the mainland. They still remain in the old mindset that the mainland is a backward place and they are unwilling to collaborate with mainland cities. It would hinder Hong Kong's integration into the national development blueprint. And for a very long time, we had a pan polit uh, pan politicization in the in society. And the situation and the atmosphere in society was very aggressive and it hinders our growth. Now we have moved on from stability to prosperity. The executive and legislative relationship has improved once again. It creates favorable conditions for better collaboration. Now I have learned some important points from the visit. Now we have visited BYD and a Shenzhen leading enterprise. Now BYD is an example of green economy and also the other group visited Tencent, a vanguard in terms of digital economy. Enterprises in Shenzhen have achieved such success not just because of the efforts of entrepreneurs. Top-down support and policy measures were also crucial. Now in Hong Kong, in terms of development of technology and also commercialization of R&D, there is still much to catch up. In order to catch up with the time laws, we have to stand united and embrace the entrepreneurial spirit. The government must also provide high-level and far-sighted steering so that we can ride the bandwagon on high-quality developments. Now, Hong Kong and other GBA 
broader cities can complement each other. Say, for example, in Dongguan, we have the Hong Kong International Airport's Logistics Park. It is the first such facility in the world where intermodal sea air transport is allowed. Goods can be processed directly in Dongguan, customs and complete the customs clearance, and then the products can be shipped to the Hong Kong International Airport for air transport. It saves a lot of time in terms of manpower and cost. And also in the mainland, the third phase water treatment plant made use of underground space for water treatment, and on the ground, the space is used for greening. Now this may be a very good example for us to learn in Hong Kong. Now we have the driverless sky shuttle from BYD, and this is also something that we can learn from. Now this is only the starting point. I hope the government officials can collate the experience learned and be inspired. I believe that with our united efforts, Hong Kong will have a better future integrated into the national development blueprints and the future is bright. I shall submit. Mr. Chao Man Kuang. Well, after the uh, four-day visit, uh, I was deeply impressed um, with the collaboration between the executive and the legislature because we have to work together, together in order to promote uh, further development in the GBA. Well, after visiting Foshan, Shenzhen, and also on top of that, we managed to visit BRD and also BYD and also other manufacturing plants. And um, I can see that there's a lot of experience that we can learn from. And in order to develop Hong Kong into an IT center, uh, there is a lot uh, more to be done. And therefore, I support uh, Mr. Duncan Chiu's uh, motion. And on the second day of the visit, uh, we also uh, visited uh, Luo Xian in Foshan, and we could see that uh, this is uh, version 4.0 um, in terms of uh, robotics and so on. So I can see that the relevant technology would be very important uh, to our country in, de in developing um, in, um, well innovation and technology led uh, economy. And I can see that that plant also started uh, with electric fans. And uh, like many Hong Kong manufacturers, uh, uh, they also started uh, from scratch. And therefore, that's like Hong Kong's future. Low tech can also uh, win. And we have five um, universities that are amongst the top 100 um, worldwide. Uh, and we have tens of thousands of uh, researchers here. And we do have a very solid foundation for R&D in Hong Kong. But then to have a cross-boundary collaboration, uh, we would really need to have um, tri uh, well, uh, um, collaboration amongst different sectors. And it's not about uh, us working on our own. We would also need the uh, support from the central authorities and uh, with better coordination from the central authorities, we would also have to work on INT and also uh, uh, pioneering industries and also in the academia so that we can um, conduct researchers in certain areas and then apply the results um, in our industrial sectors. And we would also have to step up investment um, in the GBA. And there should also be further expansion in terms of collaboration so that um, um, well, um, all parties uh, can develop uh, in that direction. And universities' um, R&D cap capacity would also have to be boosted. And uh, we would also have to commercialize the uh, research uh, findings. And I believe that uh, in our system, we would also have to step up uh, our basic research um, collaboration with the mainland. And also, in terms of a uh, conversion of the research findings uh, into commercial products, uh, we will also need to have a uh, uh, further collaboration. Dajiang is a very good example. And in terms of the roadmap for INT, well, biotechnology would also be one of the um, directions. And also in 2021, Guangdong also published uh, this 14th uh, uh, five-year plan. And it says that uh, the, uh, the GBA would also have to become an international demonstration area. And we should also have um, uh, school sponsors uh, running the education system. And also uh, with UGC's uh, restrictions, um, there are different constraints. And uh, for the eight universities in Hong Kong, 
to become uh, the uh, top universities under the 100 university uh, league table in China, that might not be possible. And therefore, in order to upgrade our development, we will have to set up um, branch um, universities in Guangdong. And therefore, we will have to liaise with local governments and we will have to make concessions. Uh, and uh, with the policy support and in in, with better resource investment, we'll be able to build up um, new campuses um, in the mainland. And we will also have to come up with um, uh, courses uh, that would be suitable for the mainland in order to nurture more talents in the GPA. And that would also promote the upgrading of um, our different sectors. And that would also help us uh, counter the challenges uh, posed by geopolitics uh, and we will also have to have a more cross-boundary collaboration. Other than implementing the existing system, we will also have to deregulate so that uh, there would be less um, restriction imposed uh, on our researchers. And also, with the different matching funds available, uh, they have been uh, deployed uh, to universities uh, that can um, uh, that can um, uh, offer. Uh, uh, degrees and uh, some universities are still not included. That's not fair. And therefore, we will have to have breakthroughs in those areas so that our in industrial competitiveness can be enhanced. And then GBA will then be able to upgrade themselves uh, together. Thank you. Next, uh, Mr. Sunny, Chen, Sunny Ten. Madam Deputy, I speak in support of um, the motion moved by uh, Duncan Chiu on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GPA. What would be um, improved electoral system? Hong Kong has already moved uh, from a chaotic situation to good governance. I can see that uh, there has been a lot of uh, good interaction between the executive and the legislature. And um, as members of this council, we don't just uh, have the duty to monitor the uh, performance of the government. We will have to provide feedback on behalf of our constituents. We will also have to provide different perspectives and opinions to the government, in particular when it comes to very complex uh, issues involving different policy bureaus and so on. We will have to work with the government so as to enhance the government's uh, governance because we are in the same boat. And therefore, we will have to provide momentum for development. We will also have to have help the public in resolving their difficulties. Earlier on, the chief executive led us to the GBA for a visit. And it shows that uh, with patriots uh, running uh, Hong Kong and also under the one country, two systems, uh, and also the under the executive-led government, we are working together to enhance the governance of our government. Well, um, Mr. Xi Jinping also made an important speech on July the 1st uh, last year. He said that uh, we will have to make take advantage of Hong Kong's strength in order to connect with the world. And we will also have to integrate into our country's development. So with the uh, uh, further uh, enhanced uh, development in the GBA, I have three suggestions. First, uh, in supporting Hong Kong manufacturers uh, in developing their business on the mainland, I expect that we will have to um, further enhance our B BUD uh, sponsorship uh, scheme. and. Uh, uh, we would also have to introduce version 2 for that. Uh, we will have to continuously improve these schemes. And uh, for the um, Hong Kong, the ECIC, we will have to further enhance it uh, so that uh, mainland banks and also financial institutions and insurance companies on the mainland can also be uh, included in the scheme in order to enhance the success rates for applicants. Secondly, our um, um, well, Hong Kong offices on the mainland uh, have been acting as a bridge between Hong Kong and uh, the mainland authorities. And recently, we have just uh, introduced the 180 GBA standards. We have also signed the Memorandum of Understanding with the GBA. I expect that uh, in terms of our uh, industrial policy and also enterprise uh, management and also uh, verification, standardization, and uh, calibration, and so on, we will gradually be able to integrate into the GBA standards in order to ensure that there can be a coordinated developments in the GBA. Many members have made a lot of suggestions uh, to the government. It shows that uh, the executive and the legislature have been having a lot of um, conducive interaction. And thirdly, I expect the government uh, to be able to look into the um, proposal to support the Hong Kong RITA so that we can set up an R&D center in mainland cities so that these centers can also have um, better uh, distribution of um, more research centers and uh, that they can be given funding support so that they can, they can work more uh, effectively 
and they can also conduct tests uh, and also uh, they can also press ahead with uh, manufacturing processes and so on. We should also work with uh, leader, in this leader enterprises um, on the mainland on certain sectors so that uh, the um, barriers between Hong Kong and the mainland can also be broken through. For example, we visited uh, BRD, BYD and also the um, the uh, the uh, Commission on um, IT and so on. Um, we can also look at the digital economy, taking textile in this, taking the textile center se sector as an example. We can also work with the INT and also other research institutions so that we can make use of our own strengths. And then uh, in the GBA, including Hong Kong, can also become the most competitive uh, new industrialized uh, uh, manufacturing chain um, in the world. Well, under the new um, system, uh, I expect that there can be further collaboration between the executive and the legislature. We can work with the um, industrial sector so that we can have further exchanges with uh, GBA cities so that uh, Hong Kong can also play the role of a bridge between the outside world and the mainland. Thank you. Next, uh, Ms. Uh, Dr. Nan Man Yu, Madam Deputy, since the um, change in um, the membership of this council, we visited uh, the GBA last week. This is also the first ever visit uh, made by um, the new council under the leadership of uh, the chief executive. This is also very new. Well, during the past few years, uh, we have suffered a lot uh, from the pandemic as well as the social unrest, uh, and therefore, uh, we will have to seize the opportunity to cooperate uh, with uh, GBA cities in order to further, um, the, in order to give play to our strengths. Well, I think this uh, visit has has enabled uh, lawmakers uh, to uh, think more deeply in terms of how we can relax our rules and regulations to promote further collaboration with GBA cities. Um, I think uh, there are two points that I've learned from this visit. Number one, we can complement each other. And second, we can also further develop our R&T sector. Well, uh, one of the highlights in the visit was that uh, we managed to visit the HKAA, which uh, collaborated with the Dongguan authorities. We set up um, an aviation center in Dongguan, and that shows how we can uh, complement each other. We can each develop our own strengths, and then we can uh, help uh, uh, fill in the gaps. Uh, because uh, Dongguan has always been treated as uh, a global manufacturing base, uh, and yet Hong Kong, as the southern gate of our country, we have also got uh, um, a very well uh, network. And um, if we are able to co-locate uh, the customs um, clearance uh, procedures, uh, we can make use of Hong Kong's international aviation hub so that we can um, uh, deliver the goods uh, worldwide. And that would also reduce the cost uh, and the transportation uh, time would be reduced by one third. Uh, and Hong Kong has also become uh, an entry port. And, um, we would also be able to save a lot of logistics uh, cost uh, and transportation time, and this is a win-win situation. Well, we've been able to integrate into our country, and we are also connected to the world, and therefore, in terms of uh, maritime and other logistics uh, coordination, if we can work with GPA cities, then we would be able to further enhance this, and that would also consolidate Hong Kong's status uh, as an international shipping center. And uh, this uh, visit also enabled us uh, to visit uh, 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 BYD's uh, manufacturing plant. We've been promoting green transport and uh, with uh, a city like Hong Kong, which is very popular. And uh, we also have scarcity of uh, land. And if we were to develop public transport system further, that would be difficult. But then uh, with the technology of a uh, sky shuttle, that would resolve a lot of problems. Uh, sky shuttle would also be suitable for Hong Kong. For example, the construction time would be very short, just one year. And the construction cost uh, would just be $100 million per one per kilometer. And uh, the efficiency is also very high because we're talking about uh, 80 kilometers per hour and we can also have uh, eight to uh, four to eight cars and we can have uh, up to 150 passengers and that would not affect uh, its uh, climbing uh, ability and uh, that would also help uh, reduce uh, the uh, width of the uh, uh, the supporting tower and that will not take up additional road space and uh, sky shuttle is also um, 
unmanned driving, and that would save a lot of time and uh, efforts. Earlier on in Kowloon, I've organized a number of uh, residents uh, forum, and I've also introduced the um, the smart rail system and also the sky shuttle, which are raw mass transit systems. Um, used uh, on the mainland, and, and I exchange views with residents. I hope that the government can consider, because these are successful examples uh, on the mainland, and uh, we can also transfer that to Hong Kong, and that would also be very good for Hong Kong. In different uh, districts uh, with a different population um, density and also different um, uh, topography, we can also make use of uh, Sky Shuttle's uh, technology and experience. There can be further collaboration between the two sides, so that's to uh, promote the uh, use of uh, green transport. Well, uh, the chaotic situation in this council is something of the past, and therefore we have a new uh, scene, and therefore we will have to catch up with time and also re catch up with the results, and therefore we will have to seize the uh, opportunity of the strategic development in, in the GBA. We will have to uh, set aside uh, uh, pref uh, well, prejudices so that uh, we can work together to contribute uh, to Hong Kong, to the GBA, as well as our country. Thank you. So, Ms. Dorin Kong, uh, I would like to thank Mr. Duncan Chu for moving this motion so that we can promote uh, the development of uh, GBA through better participation by Hong Kong SA Out. Harmonious relationship between the executive and the legislature is a key prerequisite. And the politics uh, is the focal, focal, uh, focal platform for economic development. A stable uh, political environment will require harmonious relationship between the executive and the legislature. The two branches of the government have to act uh, in their own respective fields, but they should also collaborate with uh, other, so that uh, a better relationship between the executive and the legislature should be uh, uh, promoted in order that we can promote the participation of Hong Kong in the GBA. Well, in the past, because of political uh, turmoil, uh, we our attention paid to the GPA was not satisfactory. An American academic has said that whether we're talking about politics or economics, if they uh, look into issues uh, in isolation, they would face a, a, a very dire problem that uh, none of the problems can be resolved. We have to understand that politics and economics are closely related. If that relationship between the two branches are harmonious and they trust each other, when they, they would be able to assist the uh, others. They should be good friends. They should be good advisors. Officials who work hard for the well-being of the community. If, uh, if we are. Uh, offer our assistance, uh, we will be able to seize the opportunities coming our way. We should expand our vision. We should face up to the GBA opportunities and also we have to have global vision. The SAR government should have the vision and the right mentality and integrate uh, the global view uh, and the GBA uh, development concept. The government should be innovative and, and de deregulate and learn from other people's um, merits. We should pay close attention to changes in policy and, uh, the, and the political landscape. We should make uh, constructive ideas. Hong Kong, the executive should also look into the w ways and means to solve problems. Uh, with mainland and mainland counterparts. We should offer a good example to the world. Well, in, in the GBA, uh, there are more the high-rise buildings than uh, the world combined. In Hong Kong, the, we have a lot of experience in managing multi-story uh, buildings and the deed of mutual covenant uh, as a basis of uh, building management. We should uh, tie in with the development of uh, big data and AI in the, in the mainland, and we can seek breakthrough. 
we can def solve our problems in building management. At the same time, we can provide a, a model for the GPA, our G, the GPA counterparts. I hope the executive and the legislature in Hong Kong can understand where our problems are, what our problems are, and what, and we cooperate with GPA and tell, illustrate the vision and courage of, of the government or SAR in improving people's livelihood. All in all, with the development of GPA, Hong Kong is now presented with unprecedented challenges and opportunities. GPA cities all there have their comparative advantages. We should learn from each other. Hong Kong should also make the best use of our uh, international um, status and promote investment. We should develop Hong Kong and we should also act as a gateway to, for GPAs to attract uh, investment so that we can see a brighter future. Mr. Joe, Jofi Chan. Thank you, Madam Deputy. I would like to thank Duncan, Ms. Duncan Chu for moving this motion. The, uh, the, the visit led by the CE was unprecedented and the participation of uh, electrical members uh, was also unprecedented. I would like to make some suggestions on how to deepen the exchange between the uh, GBA cities and also to the promote national rejuvenation. We went to Qinghai and Dong, and, and Dongguan. Uh, this is a, a, a base for youth development. I brought this back. This is uh, significant both in its uh, cultural sense. Well, it was a very fruitful visit. It, it was uh, a, a base for youth, uh, culture and creative uh, initiative, the Samchan Cultural Creative Park. I say this because uh, when I talk to young people, I understand the, the, their aspirations. When we ask them to go to the mainland to develop their career, they would uh, tell me that, that they under, well, understand very little about technology. And uh, therefore, I want to tell them that uh, there are multiple pathways for artistic and creative uh, careers. Hong Kong should also learn from the um, Sam Creative Art and Creative Park. It takes as little as 2,500 uh, RMB to hire a space. Uh, actually, it's a, a private car which is to be modified for creative work. But if we look at the food truck scheme in Hong Kong, it's uh, very different. In some cases, uh, the food trucks uh, would have to be modified, costing a million dollars or so. So we should learn from the mainland examples. We can make use of uh, some vacated uh, wet market to organize fairs for young people. And if, Hong, if our young people thrive, Hong Kong will also thrive. When we visited, we were fortunate to learn more about the intermodal transport service there. Under the 14th National Plan, Hong Kong is tasked to the, promote our status as international transport hub. Uh, well, we have a fund nine representative uh, under the FTU umbrella, and we have uh, conducted study on uh, how we can enhance uh, our containers, ports, services. And thirdly, when we also visited uh, Guangzhou, uh, there was a water purification plant, and we. Uh, we we uh, came we did gain a deep understanding of how we can um, turn a environmental hygiene facility into a green project. 
well, you know that uh, this is how they gain the support of their people, so that there will be not uh, in my there will not be any not in my backyard syndrome. Well, actually, the, we also with the DJI Dai Jiang, uh, the chairman Wang Tao, the graduated from Hong Kong UST, and he. And this his enterprise uh, helped uh, China to to develop into a strong nation technologically speaking. Well, this visit is a good starting point. I think in our panels uh, we should uh, make further protections to have um, different deal visits uh, on different themes organized. With these remarks, I support the motion, Mr. Rock Chan. Madam Deputy, after the improved uh, to improve electoral system, we no longer see arguments and uh, vicious attacks in this council, and the SAL government is now the, uh, working under a better situa uh, situation and environment. And the CE has uh, come up with a new initiative, such as a visit to the GBA, the. Uh, Anti-chamber, the interactions, uh, and uh, then the uh, CE's uh, interactive question time tomorrow. We will we all work together to the ensure that Hong Kong is integrated into the overall development of the country. We went to the GBA. We we can uh, make leverage on the advantages of Hong Kong and the GBA cities in promoting national development. Mention has been made about the international logistic facility in our Hong Kong International Airport. Uh, goods are support uh, are flown in through Hong Kong IA, and then they could be further transported to the mainland at a, uh, in an efficient manner. And we also uh, experience the uh, elevated. Uh, Cloud shuttle service. This will be very advantageous to our vision of creating a livable city in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is uh, uniquely positioned to attract uh, talent and investment. We have uh, eight universities which are among the top 100 in the world. We can nurture the talent of promote develop, uh, technological development so that we can uh, facilitate the, uh, the country in coping with uh, the sanctions imposed unreasonably. Therefore, I support Mr. Duncan Chu's motion. And on top, I want to make a few observations. First, the legislature and the executive uh, were went on the visit to see for them firsthand what, hap what, what is happening. This would help with the policy setting and with uh, hand-on experience, uh, officials will be more pragmatic in making the decisions. And the legislature can uh, then make further and more innovative uh, suggestions on how to ensure Hong Kong's integration into the National Development Programme. Legislate, legislators come from different sectors and they were able to reflect uh, their views uh, and aspirations in, in the GO GBA platform. And the SAL government uh, would be able to gain from our advice so that the policies and measures are down to earth and would actually benefit uh, the community. And, sec and we should not be just looking at Hong Kong in the development perspective. We should uh, look at uh, the development of GBA in the uh, national context. Actually, uh, we, we, we understand different part, parts of GBA to, to different degrees. So before we formulate a policy for better integration with uh, GBA, the SAR government should uh, communicate with us and consult us so that we can work together to map out a strategy and that this will ensure that the strategy is well supported by this council. And with this visit, we have open doors for communication with the mainland authority, with the GBA authorities. This council should also 
uh, regularize our exchanges with the, the mainland and deepen our communication so that when we encounter difficulties in implementing our policies, uh, we'll be able to, to open all the doors and overcome all the obstacles. And this visit uh, has uh, sowed the seed of, of cooperation between the legislature and the executive. This will bear fruit very soon. This will also uh, enhance the government governance standards. With these remarks, I support the motion and all the amendments. Dr. Wendy Hong, thank you, Madam Deputy. I fully support Hong Kong integrating into the national developments by speeding up developments in the GBA. But the question is, how? Now, with the delegation visits led by the chief executive, I met a young person at Xianhai. I asked what the hurdles are. Now, he, he told me that when the weather turned cold, he wanted to get some jackets from his families in Hong Kong, but that has proven to be impossible. The Customs and Excise Department in the mainland require a receipt for the jackets, but that was simply unavailable. And I also talked to an academic in the Hong Kong University Nansha branch. Now, he told me he wanted to bring along some books to the campus. Now, he has got a quota of 100 books. So that's still, so he still had to leave a lot of books behind when he moved to the Nansha campus. Now, there are a lot of hurdles. Now, Hong Kong companies cannot be registered as live technology companies in the mainland. Now, the registration process for Hong Kong entrepreneurs in the GBA is much more complicated and the cost is much higher. And also, Hong Kong professionals cannot practice in their profession in the GBA. In year 2003, with the SIPA agreement entered between Hong Kong and the mainland, there was due way opening in terms of capital and talent. Now, ten, now 20 years on, we still have, have a lot of hurdles today. Now, if we want to utilize the GP, if we want to tap into the GBA markets without leaving Hong Kong, well, that's simply impossible. Say, for example, many young KOLs in Hong Kong would like to tap into the live streaming markets in the mainland. However, in Hong Kong, you simply cannot have access to the live streaming platform in the mainland. And you can't register for an account with the Hong Kong ID card, not to mention doing business with the live streaming platform. And also for businesses to run in Hong Kong and the GPA, well, it is basically impossible because there is no cross-boundary flow of data and inventories and the operation model is completely different. Now, we are always criticizing that the government is not doing enough. But actually, the hurdles I mentioned were not on the Hong Kong side, and it is not, these problems cannot be solved by the, gov by the Hong Kong SAL government alone. Now, there are, the Hong Kong jurisdiction is different from that of the mainland, and the taxation system is different, and there is, physical hurdles on capital, talent, and data flow. However, this is a firewall, ensuring the success of one country to systems. The hard border ensures that Hong Kong can continue to become a, to remain a free port, and that talents and capital and data can flow without any hurdle between Hong Kong and the world without posing a risk to the country. Now, we have an independent judicial system, independent from that of the country. We are the only place where our judicial system is different from the nation. Now, there are four must mentioned by President Xi. One is that we have to remain unique and keep our special advantages. Now, with the border, we can continue to enjoy the advantages. Now, if compared with other Bay Areas in the world, 
we are inherently different. Now we cannot achieve a complete free flow of capital and so on because of the very nature of us. So we have to give new definition to the word integration. We have to promote free flow. However, we are not looking to copy the mainland cities every step of the way. We can't abandon our uniqueness. We can't become another Shenzhen and another Guangzhou. We have to continue to be unique. Now, under the great change in the century, we have to be able to do things where mainland cities cannot. We have to contribute to the country this way. Thank you. Mr. Kenneth Lau. President, last month, the chief executive led officials and lawmakers to visit four GBA cities. We learned about the developments there, and it shows that the executive and legislative branches are collaborating on an unprecedented level. We learned a lot in terms of arts and culture, environmental conservation, and so on, and we appreciate the importance of Hong Kong's integration into the country development. We learned a lot from the visit. Both officials and lawmakers were shown developments in the GPA. We visited the BYD manufacturing base in the mainland and also Sky Shuttle, which is a com which is entirely invented in the mainland. Now this is a very cost effective elevated rail transport model and we all think this is very suitable for the Hong Kong contest. Now we all we were all pragmatic. We wanted to learn from the mainland cities to improve livelihood in Hong Kong. It shows the positive interplay between the executive and legislative branches. Now, in year 2019, the country published the outline developments plan for the GBA. Now, we would, under the blueprints, INT industry would lead the growth in the GBA. However, in the past, we have a we had a very confrontational atmosphere in the Legislative Council. There were always conflict and there was endless filibustering hindering our growth. In year 2022, Shenzhen's GDP has exceeded Hong Kong's and the R&D expenditure accounts for 4.6% of the GDP. Now between 2017 and 22, Hong Kong's expenditure on R&D only accounts for some 7% in our GDP. Now let's take BYD for an example, it is only 28 years old. However, it has seen very rapid developments and it is now a leading enterprise in the world. Now, besides the capacity and the talents of the entrepreneur, policy support is also very important. Now, in Hong Kong's context, Legislative Council has to work with the government to, to allow INT industry to grow. Now, we are focusing on people's livelihood. Lawmakers have to focus on livelihood and the and economic developments to, to ensure that Hong Kong can grow. Now, after the national security law was implemented, the central government has improved our electoral system, and now we are seeing no more of the chaotic scenes in the past. Now, the under the Patriots administering Hong Kong principle, there is unprecedented collaboration between the council and the government. It is time for us to improve governance further to come up with plans to ensure economic fruits. Now, this time of the government has been working very hard. Tomorrow, we will have the first session of interactive session with the chief executive. This is a good start. This is how we can pull our thoughts together to achieve, to overcome hurdles. And also, the chief executive can canvas lawmakers' views to better govern Hong Kong. Now, with the internal and external situation, we can see that Hong Kong cannot move forwards without integrating into the GBA developments. This is the only way we can achieve high quality developments. The GBA developments is a platform for connectivity between GBA cities. Now, we have to rely on the leading with the task force on developing the GBA and speed up the developments in Qianhai, Nansha, Shenzhen, Zhuhai, Hengqin, and also the loop area. The government must work together with the council to improve governance and address 
livelihood issue and bring about development opportunities for different industries only by integrating into the national development blueprint and play give play to our complementary strength and promote a bay an international bay area which is suitable for living traveling and developing we can catch up with lost time i so submit thank you mr yim kong President, I thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving this motion on uniting the on promoting the development of the GBA. The timing is good because we are all working together to integrate into the national development. Mr. John Lee led government officials and lawmakers to Shenzhen, Guangzhou, and other and two other GBA cities to learn about the development. Now, this visit promotes deepened interaction and exchange between the two places. It is of historical meaning. Principal officials are made aware of the importance of collaborative development and how Hong Kong must proactively integrate, integrate into the national development blueprints to achieve sustained high quality development. Now we clearly saw how robust the INT development is in the GBA. We saw the strong momentum of growth in our GBA brother cities in terms of smart city, rail, transport, and also smart payments. The GBA cities are leading Hong Kong by far. And it is a strong reminder for us to continue to grow. Now, the chief executive is leading, has led this delegation in person, and the number of participants in the delegation was unprecedented. It highlights the importance attached by the government to GBA development, and it is also a statement to the enhanced collaboration between the government and the council. Now, this will help promoting speedy integration of our economy with the country, and it shows the government's determination to join the national developments. Now, with the visits, GBA, uh, Hong Kong government officials can identify possible areas of collaboration. And in these areas, the government can formulate policies to use our strengths to complement the developments in the GBA. This can enhance deeper integration of our industries into the GBA. And Hong Kong industries can contribute more to the developments in the GBA. President, this visit also offered ample opportunities of exchange between officials and lawmakers and also the mainland officials. This enhanced the connectivity and communication between the two places, encouraged connectivity between Hong Kong and the GBA mainland cities, and it also offers more opportunity in terms of our professions, including the legal services, financial services, and so on. We can give play to one country, two systems, and contribute to the growth. Now, I hope that in the future, visits arranged by the government can be aligned with our development needs and clear themes should be set up so that we can have an in-depth study on existing problems. And through communication and exchange, we can find solutions to these problems, thus further remove, removing protective measures between the two places. Now, the two sessions gave us clear positioning. Now we have to seize the opportunities in a century. We have to actively dovetail with the high quality developments in the nation and promote and contribute to the developments of a strong country and the great rejuvenation of the Chinese people. We have to give unique make unique contribution under the one country, two systems principle. Now we cannot we can we have to embrace the spirit of the two sessions. President Xi mentioned in the two session report that the development of a strong country relies on the long term success of one country, two systems. Now we have to give replay 
to the advantage under the one country two systems so that we can continue to become the connector between Hong Kong and the uh, between the country and the world and enhance our competitiveness and development capacity and also become a showcase of the robustness of one country two systems I so submit thank you um, President, I speak in support of uh, the motion moved by Duncan Chiu to unite uh, the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. I think this is um, a very wide space uh, for our future development uh, with uh, GBA, and uh, that has also become a very important uh, strategy for our country and Hong Kong has been able to act as a bridge between the mainland and the outside world. And uh, we are also very important in promoting the high quality development in the GBA. And that would also help uh, promote uh, the national rejuvenation uh, through this modernization process. And um, through the visit led by the chief executive, we've been able to visit uh, the cities in the GBA. And uh, the result has been very um, uh, inspiring, and I was also a member of the delegation. I was I was able to visit uh, um, Dongguan and uh, talk to many manufacturers and entrepreneurs. I think uh, it's a very good experience, and uh, they have been taking the lead, and uh, that would also help us uh, in telling a good story of our country. So I believe that the SL government has the duty to continue to unite the executive authorities and the legislature so that we can have a harmonious interaction. And that would also help improve governance uh, and uh, listen to the community. And that would also help resolve many of the deep-rooted uh, problems. Uh, and uh, we would also be able to maintain very close liaison with the central authorities, would be able to provide a timely feedback, and there would be good communication and collaboration between the different sectors. And uh, amongst the various cities um, in the GBA, there would also be better exchange and collaboration. I'm also a member of the um, uh, subcommittee on promoting collaboration in the GBA. And uh, the Under Secretary has also been uh, attending the meetings uh, and um, listening to our views. And uh, at the eight meetings, so we talk about our legal services, portable welfare, um, elderly services, um, uh, medical services, um, logistics, uh, transport, um, commercial development, and also other support and so on. So um, these have been covered by this council and there have been a lot of comprehensive discussions and the administration has been able to listen to our views on all these um, areas and um, the subcommittee's work has um, um, completed uh, for the time being but then um, there will be further tasks for us and I hope that you can also continue to listen to us uh, and that will also be very important in taking on board uh, the feedback from the community. I'd just like to highlight some of the concerns of our members because uh, when it comes to promoting the development of the GBA and also proactively integrating into GBA as well as our country's development, there has to be a seamless transition and that uh, numerous meetings. We have talked about healthcare issues, how we can provide services for the elderly, and whether or not Hong Kong people can also use uh, the uh, health uh, vou the health vouchers uh, um, on the mainland, and whether or not uh, 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 the uh, private sector can also develop their business on the mainland, and so on. As far as the uh, business sector is concerned, when it comes to uh, remitting money, well. Um, uh, remitting uh, currency, well, there is a limit of uh, several tens of thousands, so it's uh, not an easy task and um, it's not convenient at all. So you can only uh, transfer very small amounts um, every time, and therefore we will have to act as a bridge with the central authorities because there are different channels available for us to uh, voice our concerns. For example, I'm also a member from the uh, political committee in Shanghai, and therefore I can also write to them. And I can also give my views uh, through the um, complaints uh, division of the central government. But then I hope that uh, we can set up another communication bridge so that I would be able to follow up on certain issues and what kind of assistance and support can be provided by the government, etc., etc. I think uh, communication is the most important thing, and therefore we have to have an efficient and long-term communication mechanism. 
as to how Hong Kong can assist uh, and promote uh, the development in the GBA. That would require a lot of collaboration, members uh, of this council, as well as uh, members of the public. We will have to provide further information to the community. And that would also uh, facilitate uh, the comprehensive development of the GBA. These are my remarks. Uh, Professor Chen Wen Kuang, I speak in support uh, of the motion moved by Duncan Chiu. Well, um, in late um, last well late last month, uh, the chief executive led the delegation to visit uh, four cities in the GBA, and uh, within during this term of the government, this is the first ever visit um, with um, ex with officials uh, and the legislature. This is the first uh, joint visit uh, between the executive and the legislature, and uh, I welcome that. And uh, we visit uh, various uh, places and uh, projects, and uh, that enables us uh, to have a very good understanding on various uh, fronts on the mainland. And uh, I benefited a lot from the visit. And um, this visit also impressed me on various uh, fronts. For example, in the past, uh, the opposition camp resorted to very radical uh, tactics, and uh, that would also affect the uh, beneficial interaction between the um, executive and the legislature hindering the implementation of various uh, policy initiatives and now we are back on the right track and there has been a lot of uh, good interaction between the executive and the legislature and this uh, visit would also showcase the collaboration and harmonious relationship between the executive and uh, the legislature i'm greatly touched by i'm greatly moved by that and i treasure this relationship I hope that uh, there, there can be further collaboration between the executive and the legislature so that we can contribute to the development of our country together. As to how we can make use of this good relationship between the executive and the legislature, I hope that I can um, elaborate on um, the uh, the um, internal and the external front. In the past, uh, the opposition camp has uh, been opposing for opposition's sake, and therefore, a lot of the initiatives cannot be implemented uh, and it's a waste of time, and therefore, we will have to catch up so that we can take advantage of the current uh, harmonious relationship so that there can be a proactive um, collaboration and uh, uh, good interaction so that uh, many of the difficulties, for example, limited land supply, uh, unemployment, and also uh, inadequate uh, health care services, uh, there, would, there would be a lot of room for collaboration between the executive and the legislature so that we can work together to um, sort out the problems, uh, I think that would also help improve the sense of happiness uh, amongst the public, and that's what they expect. And also, uh, between the executive and the uh, legislature, yes, uh, the central authorities have helped us uh, roll up many initiatives so that we can seize the opportunities arising from our national development. But then in order to integrate, uh, um, we are still encountering a lot of difficulties. The main door may be open, but then the small gates are still closed. Uh, for example, earlier on, they announced that uh, public health care institutions would be recruiting um, Chinese medical uh, practitioners are from Hong Kong and Macau so that they can work in public hospitals on the mainland and uh, they would also be able to uh, develop their business uh, on the mainland. But then because of the uh, mutual recognition of qualification between the two sides uh, is still not uh, rolled out and therefore many of our Chinese medical practitioners are still not able to take exam on the uh, uh, are not able to take the licentiation examination on the mainland. This is not rare. So these are the minor hurdles. Uh, but then to a certain extent, that would also affect uh, Hong Kong uh, when it comes to integrating with the GBA. I earnestly hope that uh, the executive and the legislature and even enterprises can, uh, can uh, uh, communicate further so that with collective wisdom, we'll be able to identify the problem and, and, and then apply the right medication. That would own only then will we be able to promote the development of the GPA so that we can contribute uh, our uh, abil our uh, expertise uh, to the development. And uh, the executive and the legislature are like two brothers. And so long as there is a good interaction between the two, we'll be able to uh, uh, work for the better future of Hong Kong. Thank you. Next, uh, uh, Carmen Khan. I speak in support of the motion moved by Duncan Chiu on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. Last month, the chief executive led a delegation of the executive and the legislature to four cities of uh, the GBA. And we have also visited uh, some of the major enterprises uh, and offices. And uh, through the visit, 
we have been able to understand better about uh, the uh, high expectation on us uh, when it comes to developing the GBA. And we will have to unite the executive and the legislature so that there would be a harmonious interaction. Well, during the uh, speech on 1st of July last year, President Xi already said that, uh, well, one country, two systems is the set national policy and nothing will be changed. And therefore, in order to ensure um, that uh, there would be high quality development in the GBA, Hong Kong's contribution is very important. And therefore, we will have to catch up with time. And what is most important is that uh, we will have to be more proactive so that there can be um, that can be uh, um, complemented complementary developments. Uh, first um, on um, governance, um, well, we have set up a steering group um, in developing the GBA, and uh, I've already said that. Uh, well, the senior management has already uh, been done under the one plus three model. That is, uh, the chief executive will lead the three policy or achieve uh, top officials, and then we will have to rely on the mainland as our hinterland, and then we will have to look um, uh, outward uh, to the world. And with the two strings together, well, uh, none of the other cities can compare with us, and therefore we will have to make tap into the advantage of one country and two systems, and therefore we will have to uh, take one step further. We will have to work with uh, Shenzhen so that we will uh, make reference uh, to Hengqin and uh, Nansha so that we can also set up a loop area. As some experts suggested, we can also have the Sentin Technology City so that we can make use of the big river loop area so that we can come up with a new plan. And then the leaders uh, on both sides can also set up a committee with both cities' leaders uh, working as the co-chairman of this uh, Steering group, and then in a new loop area, we can also have us. Uh, we can have a new area for emerging industries, so that uh, for the um, important industries like, uh, well, uh, uh, dedicated IC and EV AI, and also uh, um, or cyber security business and so on, they can also develop that. And then uh, for the uh, for the AI uh, supercomputing center, that can also be set up there either in the loop, uh, river loop or in the um, new technology city. We are also working on the northern metropolis. We are going to set up an office there. I'd like to remind the government uh, that uh, we should not develop that into another satellite city on uh, like a new town. We will have to have a breakthrough, and therefore we will have to expand the boundary. We will have to have breakthroughs. We will have to have a group of, of experts working with mainland cities so that in terms of um, industrialization and also transport and logistics and so on, we will have to work with them. Well, Mr. President, as many members have said, uh, with regard to the hub uh, for uh, uh, logistics and transportation and so on, well, cargo will be will have their clearance uh, done on the mainland, and then they can be shipped to Hong Kong and then further shipped to other cities. Well, when the security uh, uh, secretary liaised uh, with the main authorities, they've been able to achieve that. Uh, that means that uh, with hard work, you'll be able to achieve anything. And then in April, uh, uh, well, an official said uh, in Guangzhou that uh, we will have to uh, set up um, a, a free economy zone with the three cities uh, so that we'll be able to provide facilitation measures. Well, Mr. President, we do have a lot of hope for the future, and therefore we will have to be prepared for that. And during the visit, I was also deeply impressed because I uh, like uh, BYD and also Dajiang and uh, Huawei. They are also remarkable industries and enterprises, and they have been closely linked to the national development of our country, for example, for the drones uh, manufactured by Dajiang and also by uh, BYD's uh, uh, new batteries. They have also created a new horizon for development of our country. And therefore, under the unification by the central authorities, we can make use of our expertise so that we can contribute to our country's development. The visit has been very fruitful. And we have also been able to witness uh, firsthand uh, the developments on our country. And therefore, we will have to seize the opportunity. We have we will have to share this uh, with the community so that we will understand that uh, with better collaboration between the executive and the legislature, we will be able to make contribution to our country. These are my remarks. Thank you, Mr. Dr. Tan Yuehang. Thank you, President. The president of our country, Mr. Xi Jinping, said on the third on the anniversary of Hong Kong's return to the motherland. Uh, gave an important speech and also to develop Hong Kong and the central authorities uh, would help Hong Kong to grasp the opportunities in the National Development Program and would uh, actively dovetail the, the strategy of the 
of the mainland with Hong Kong's own development programs. So we should enhance our governance and uh, efficiency and promote the integration of Hong Kong into the GBA development plan here. I would like to thank Mr. Duncan Chu for moving this motion so that we can say some what we think about uh, how best we can uh, forge ahead with the development of the Great Bay Area uh, with the Anti-Chamber Exchange Forum and also the visit led by the CE last month. From We can see the friendly match between the executive and the legislature and also the, uh, the interactive uh, question time that we are going to have. We can see that uh, the executive is working very hard to foster consensus and, and promotion of a harmonious relationship. The CE led the visit of uh, this council to the visit. We went to four vis uh, cities. We understand the latest development of uh, the, their key industries in these four cities, and we also talked to government departments, we ex and uh, some exchanges were made, some consensus forged, and we also talked to the uh, entrepreneurs, Hong Kong entrepreneurs, and young people there. I believe all these uh, would uh, be very conducive to uh, the formulation of uh, policies that would be conducive to the GPA development. And through the, these uh, activities, we understand each other better. Uh, there's a, a, a factor for better cooperation, and this is a good demonstration on how we can foster a harmonious relationship. I hope that in the future, the legislature and the executive branch can work together with greater depth and more greater firmness of touch, or sureness of touch first. We need to follow up on the results of the study. This trip is, was a large trip at a high level. The research and study are done, but then there are areas where we can dig deeper, suggestions we can follow up on. Have we obtained timely feedback? Have we taken timely follow-up action? Have we reached out to the parties? How's the progress? Many legal members are also interested in finding out. I hope the government departments can follow up. And since we have the anti-chamber exchanges and there are other ways for the legislature to talk to the executive branch, we should talk about the latest development so that we are on the same page. Second. In terms of this joint visit to the Greater Bay Area, we should go beyond just the officials and the legislative councillors. At bureaus and departments, there are people carrying out policies. At the offices of legislative members, there are policy teams. They look into different policy areas. So bringing together the legislature and the executive branch takes more than just the officials and the lawmakers. We need deeper interactions. Next time, we should also invite people interested in policy research from the Legislative Council. We should bring more people together, pull their wisdom, and have more interactions, and that's how we can generate more ideas. Third. The continuity of the trips, there are distinct advantages with each GBA city. But there are other cities beyond the four we visited. There are other industries we should look at. And we can also visit the same city more than once. We need this continuous kind of visit and collaboration. And that's how we can better integrate into not just the GBA, but also our country's development. President, I so submit, I support Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion. Mr. Tang Fei. President, I thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for his motion. We visited the other cities of the GBA. I have some observations. First, the institutions, and second, ideas. First, economy is important. We should not underestimate the improvement that comes out of it in terms of the executive branch and the legislature. First, we bring together legislature and the executive branch. This time we 
are taking the approach featuring practice, not just rhetoric. And this visit is politically significant for our institutions. Since the handover, we have the opposition camp in the legislature obstructing the government's policies, stifling our development. And then we've also seen indecision in action leading to popular resentment, and that was blamed on the government. So this is a kind of self-orchestrated, self-fulfilling prophecy that played into their hands and became their electioneering slogans that held back the government's policies and delayed problems. In turn, this kind of development also led to problems with populism. This means the system failed to improve people's lives and it even hurt people's interests and it hurt the economy and people's quality of life. It, there was all kinds of opposition and antagonism for young people there was a brainwashing effect. The young generation thought that was what democracy meant, and they thought that's what the legislature was meant to do. This kind of harm does probably greater harm than delays in policies. Director Sha Baolong came to Hong Kong. He once say, stated, democracy is an opposition. And harmony doesn't mean that it's not consistent with democracy. We need to address problems of people. That's what high quality democracy means. We have to be mindful of the kind of democracy we want. We need to get problems fixed. With the improved electoral system, the legislature should pursue high quality development along with the government. As the chief executive pledge a result oriented approach, we need good relationship between the legislature and the executive branch. That's what quality democracy means. We had this GBA visit. We tried a number of things too, such as the anti-chamber exchange. First, on Hong Kong's integration into our country's development, all these processes facilitated our work. And we're looking not just at economic development, we're also contributing to the implementation of the basic law, and that adds to our confidence in the system. We need to deliver what our country wants with what we're good at. We need to build up the knowledge and the platform for policy exchanges. We need to turn things around from the past with the opposition. In the past, exchange between the mainland and Hong Kong was stifled. This time, the visit helped foster the kind of exchange so that we got a better sense of the mainland's development. We visited BYD, we learned about the latest models, but that's of secondary importance. What's more important is the importance that BYD attaches to R&D. They have a research institute for their company. They put in a lot of work on research and development, and they actually have strategically sensitive projects and they put money into it. This is not just about ensuring the continuous development of their business. They contribute to the local economy, local technology development. The work they do also adds to the knowledge building and the technology for our country. For the reindustrialization, we need not just land and people, we also need education. Look at our academic and vocational education. Is that good enough to support our reindustrialization? We need to look at the GBA's development, and that's how we can plan our way ahead, and we have to think about them. This GBA trip shows us that both our officials and our electrical members learned more about the GBA. What more can the government do in industrial policy, nurturing talent, in boosting economic development, business development, and improving people's lives? Officials can learn how to develop our city and integrate into our country's development. That's a source of inspiration for us. We need good systems, and then we can see good policies. We need policy breakthroughs, and then we can see quality policy. This visit is a good sign, is a good example showing just that. President has so submit. Mr. Holden Chow. President, I'm very grateful to Mr. Duncan Chu for his motion on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. President, during this visit, for the first time over the years, 
the executive and the executive branch came together. We worked together in unity. We visited the mainland to explore ways to boost our economic development and improve our people's lives. As other members have mentioned, this did not happen in the past. One thing that left me deeply impressed is this. When we proposed a visit to the mainland, the focus was whether the anti-China forces would join us, and then the attention went to what those people wanted to focus on, what kind of tricks they would play. That kind of problem distracted the work. In the past, we also had another issue. Every time we talked about visiting the mainland to learn about the developments there, and then what we got from the opposing opposition camp was smearing. They smeared the process. They also took that, exploited that to stir antagonism and tension. In the past, it was very hard for us to propose mainland visits. Every time we tried that, we gave them ample ammunition to vilify us. With all kinds of distortions in the past, the opposition camp took that and turned it into publicity. They even used that to educate young people on how to sow discord between Hong Kong and the mainland. So under the old systems, we had all those problems. This time, we have the improved electoral system. The executive and the legislature came together. We went on the visit to the mainland cities of the GBA. We worked together, had a frank exchange. This is also about public education. During this visit, It was good public education. People could learn about the developments in the mainland cities. As I said on other occasions, the Guangdong province focuses on new energy transport, hydrogen fuel vehicles. They want to build 300 hydrogen refueling stations to support the hydrogen fuel vehicles. This is also good public education. Even for those who cannot jo who could not join us on this visit, the news coverage helps them understand what's going on. Our next generation can also learn about our own country. This is a good example of public education. They learn about what's going on in the GBA and what are the latest developments in our country. So for this joint visit, to the other cities of the GPA, this is a start. I look forward to more events, more joint visits involving the legislature and the executive branch so that we can find out more about the other cities in the mainland so that we can learn and we can have exchanges. I look forward to more such opportunities. This visit that we just had is a key step in marking this new era of good governance. I look forward to more such visits in the future. President, I so submit. Ms. Starry Lee. President, first of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving the motion on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GPA so that we have an opportunity to talk about an important visit in the time when we are moving from stability to prosperity. And I'd also like to thank the Chief, Chief Secretary as well as principal officials to spend four days with us to look at the latest development in the GBA. I do believe that this trip has uh, laid a f sound foundation for our new relationship. In this new journey towards prosperity, it, the visit helps us to better integrate into national development. I'd like to also thank President Yoko Self as well as colleagues who have assisted us in their supporting work. 
They've spent a lot of time in the preparation of the visit. Cities would, cities wanted to show us the the best side, so our itinerary was really full. It's definitely not easy to carry out such a complicated trip. I really thank them all. As I said, that uh, this show this visit shows the new relation between the legislature and the executive. Well, we've gone through most chaotic times in this chamber. In the past, as Mr. Holden Chow said, when it comes to mainland visit, the focus would always be on the disruptive elements, showing that antics in front of the camera. Say, for example, uh, bringing leaflets to distribute on the mainland, or they um, were denied entry, shifting the focus of the visit to something irrelevant. Now we are all patriots, so this is a very smooth visit. The press covered the the trip over a few days, and there is also Facebook coverage, video clips. So all these key areas of um, GBA cities have been fully shown to the members of the public here. Well, this term of government attaches a lot of importance to the relationship between the legislature and the executive. At the start, we had the um, anti-chamber exchange session. It's been working well to enhance communication and is being constantly enhanced. Every week, together with the um, vice chairperson of the House Committee, we met with the chief secretary. We forward uh, our views to them, and uh, the CS also set KPIs on our communications. I remember that... Um, well, in the Finance Committee in the last term, we had a full itinerary, but with the coordination of the um, CS, I saw that nowadays we have much better arrangement of uh, proposals. So we see that uh, the Chief Executive, the Chief Secretary and Principal Officials attach importance to the views of the LegCo. Apart from the exchange visit, I understand that Various panels are arranging visits to the GBA or other places on the mainland. Visits, invitations have been sent to government officials. We aim to forge consensus and to do our bit uh, for the good governance of Hong Kong. I'm glad to see all these uh, proceeding. This is a new time. The public watch us. They watch us putting in hard work to resolve livelihood issues. Another role we can play better is to tell good stories of Hong Kong, good stories of the mainland, and good stories of one country, two systems. We have made great achievements when it comes to telling good stories of um, China, like Sky Shuttle. We made a video of a ride in um, Sky Shuttle. It was uploaded. And a lot of people now support the introduction of mainland light rail system to resolve uh, traffic congestions in Kowloon East. I look forward to more of these visits, but the most important thing is to turn these visits into result. I look forward to progress reports to be given to us via different platforms, as say um, panels. Mr. David, Dr. David Lam. Thank you. I thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving the motion on uniting the executive authorities and legislature to forge ahead with the development of GBA. Livelihood issue is always important, and healthcare is important. We now have uh, the GBA one hour living circle, and there is an element that is important there, healthcare, and we need to accord priorities to people's um, what people need regarding elderly healthcare voucher. Only uh, the Huawei Community Center and the Hong Kong Yu Shenzhen Hospital um, will accept 
elderly healthcare voucher, and we think that the use of the voucher should be expanded to the nine plus two cities in the Greater Bay Area. This will give more assurance to elderly people living there. Well, of course, when it comes to the use of public money, we need to have proper supervision of uh, its use. Pro uh, prospective service um, providers um, should be allowed to participate in relation to procurement of services for discharge patients. Our patient, uh, our patient patient, they have to have follow up sessions. But on the mainland, they may have to travel all the way back to Hong Kong to receive these consultation sessions. Will the government consider setting up follow-up consultation locations so that patients can make use of uh, services under, say, PPP or other approaches? Teleconsultation service. During the pandemic, teleconsultation service provides access to doctors' advice. I think now this should be regularized. But if a teleconsultation service has to be available on the mainland, there will be limitations. Hong Kong doctors, when providing the service, would be subject to regulation um, of the place where the patient is. Just say, for example, that they're allowed to um, practice practice and prescriptions will have to be signed as well. Currently, e-signature is not allowed. So if we are to enable teleconsultation service, the government needs to consider legislative amendment to put in place a framework of for consultation service and prescription. And I'd like to now move on to insurance, healthcare insurance. There are suggestions saying that uh, healthcare vouchers should be used to purchase um, medical insurance on the mainland. The government said they would look into it. We await the result. Apart from insurance, there is also the voluntary uh, insurance, uh, healthcare insurance scheme. In theory, it should be global, but how many But how many people has a policy of $2.4 million? But can the VHIS be used um, in hospitals or healthcare institutions on the mainland? I don't know. I hope the government will clarify the scope of application of the VHIS. Apart from these uh, facilitating measures, um, there are also different areas where Hong Kong can work with uh, mainland cities, say the uh, mutual access of organ donation and organ transplant. We In Hong Kong, we've done really well, but there is a shortage of organ. And um, the waiting time is long. Every year we see people pass, passing away because of that. We have, eight point, we have 87 million people in the GBA, and only 11.7% uh, of them are in Hong Kong. If we expand this quota of um, organ transplant and donation, to the GBA, then there's a higher chance for Hong Kong people to receive the right organ. But of course, we need to insist on the priority given to Hong Kong people. In relation to uh, drugs registration, do we have to wait for two certificates? Can we have uh, one mainland certificate and another certificate for these uh, drugs to be used in Hong Kong? Next is uh, life health science research is also something that we've been waiting for. The GBA is uh, at the south of our country. It has a strategic import, uh, important position. We should work together to develop the GBA. We need to leverage on Hong Kong's unique characteristics. I believe that we can turn the GBA into a world-class region. Mr. Lao Chi Pang. Thank you, President. I thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving the motion on uniting the executive and the legislature uh, in the development of the GBA. Well, Mr. Chiu's uh, motions uh, move, uh, has different parts. It covers many different areas, say mutual access and um, cooperation between the executive and the legislature. I support that. Government officials went on this trip with uh, legislators. It shows that we are of one heart. We work towards the good of Hong Kong. And it also shows the determination that uh, the government is determined to um, develop Hong Kong and to 
integrate into national development by develop by helping to develop GBA. This visit is the first one after the improved electoral arrangements. This is also the uh, largest uh, official visit after the epidemic. A lot of members uh, admire the rapid development, high quality development in many different areas in the mainland, and they have made they have made their own way when it comes to innovation and technology. Hong Kong is an important city in the GBA. We need to work better with other cities on the mainland. We need to uh, tap into our advantage. We need to help um, high quality development in the in the GBA. The GBA will bring us a lot of opportunities. I suggest that the government and the legislature, based on this visit, will continue to uh, to learn about the latest development of the GBA, to learn from experience, so that uh, there will be new ideas and new drive for our own development. We can uh, we can make proposals to further develop the GBA. We have the support of our country. We're connected with the world. Regarding education, INT, culture and environmental protection, we have a very close relationship with the mainland. This is a high-level um, visit. It has many significant many, it has significance in many areas. We have um, a small externally oriented economy with seven million people, but we're now going to be merged into a region with 80 million people. We have the support, the strong support of the GBA. The legislature and the executive uh, went, to, went on this visit together. It shows us, it shows how important it is to us. Members have actively participated, and it shows that after the improved electoral system, we now have a healthy and political environment. We have cooperation between the legislature and the executive. We now work together for better development of Hong Kong. And this visit is also a chance for us to um, break down barriers. We have uh, legislators. We have uh, senior officials of the government. We need to. We, of course, uh, lo have to look at uh, the uh, systemic integration uh, under one country, two systems, and the, ju and the different jurisdictions and d different um, tax regions so that we can enable flow of talent, capital, people, goods, services. This has uh, further deepened the integration between Hong Kong and GBA. We talk about many different areas on different projects, on different cooperation areas. We have got better understandings of um, many different areas. We make use of this uh, new opportunity and new platform to promote the development of the GBA. This is a bit to help with the rejuvenation of our nation. I speak in support of Mr. Chiu's uh, motion. Mr. Charles Siu Chong, President. Under the leadership of the Chief Executive and uh, yourself, President, we went on a joint visit to GBA. It carries great significance, and there were many lessons to learn from the visit. Uh, we like to talk about uh, the Chinese speed. The speed of development is amazing to the world. In fact, the uh, mainland has made leaps and bounds advancements in technology, and therefore we must enhance collaboration with cities in GBA for better development. We visited uh, two robotic companies in Foshan, and uh, we observed how robots were used for construction processes. And then we went to a um, restaurant fully manned, with robots from cooking to serving, uh, etc. Everything was done by robots. Uh, the uh, dishes and also uh, drinks were quite nice. I think we should introduce similar robots to enhance our productivity. We can also enhance the manpower deployment of different sectors. The use of technology to boost productivity is already a global trend. Singapore announced the policy to 
uh, digitalize their food and beverage industries. They're going to uh, use smart management of uh, kitchens and uh, robots in the catering industry. Many enterprises are using robots to serve meals, to alleviate the uh, burden of their workers and to deal with the recruitment problem. I urge the administration to provide more support in this regard and encourage a more trial and pilots within the uh, catering and construction sectors. And in future manpower projection of these two industries, we should take into account the impact of technology so that we can accurately assess the future manpower demand for different trades, and we can then have proper manpower planning. When it comes to uh, manpower, when I visited BYD in uh, Shenzhen, I uh, had this impression. There was a ward there with the names and pictures of employees of BYD posted to commend their outstanding performance and their enterprising spirit. Uh, their names will be recorded in the history of the country. This goes to show the uh, importance attached to uh, craftsmanship in the mainland and also their respect and recognition for uh, good craftsmanship. I think uh, Hong Kong has a lot to learn in this regard. Since the 18th and National uh, Public Congress, uh, we've attached a lot of, the country has attached a lot of importance to vocational education. There are 9,700 odd vocational colleges and 1,100 higher vocational colleges. They recruited 4.5 million students uh, for four years in a row. Four years in a row, they have uh, recruited more trainees than universities. So there is a greater demand for such places, and there is guarantee for the employment. So uh, this kind of education is well received. Now, people have higher regard and recognition for craftsmanship. In Hong Kong, we have um, promoted VPAT recently, but when it comes to our education system and publicity on the part of government, we haven't caught up. People seems to think people seem to think that skills are inferior to academic achievement. I think we have to catch up. I thank the CE for leading us to the visit. I look forward to more exchange visits to the mainland in the future to enhance our understanding of the country's development to promote interaction and collaboration. Through media reports, the public can have a better understanding of the latest development of the country, and this is one way of telling good stories of the country. With this remark, I support the motion by Mr. Duncan Chiu. Mr. Senning, President, with implementation of the improved electoral system and the principle of patriots administering Hong Kong, we are more united than ever. We are now a very efficient force and we're no longer polarized. So like when the uh, opposition, opposing forces hijacked the legislature and many good policies are now implemented uh, because of the principle of patriots. Administering Hong Kong, we can have steadfast and successful implementation of one country, two systems. Now, people have a higher sense of gain and happiness and belonging. I support Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. Under the leadership of uh, the uh, CE83 legislators went on the trip to visit four GBA cities, we achieved fruitful results, and the trip carries a lot of significance. It has laid a good foundation of full cooperation between the executive and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. Similar trips should be organized in the future so that we have a regular mechanism. Under the 20th National uh, Party's Congress, we, the GBA is an important part in the country's development into a strong country in science and technology. We must integrate into the overall development of the country and play our part in contributing to the development of the country. Given the very uh, pleasing developments 
I suggest that under the leadership of the government and with the support of the legislature, we build the following mechanism first. We should set up a GBA International Talent Exchange Hub so that we can have a database of talents. And second, we must promote the interface of industries. Hong Kong and uh, GBA cities uh, should have agreements on uh, their respective uh, strong industries so that we can uh, develop one plus N transformation. We must deepen the high, uh, the efficient collaboration with GBA, enhance Hong Kong's participation in the development of GBA so that we can enhance our overall competitiveness. Fourth, we must promote the development of elderly services in GBA to improve the quality of life of our elders so that they have a better sense of happiness. President Hong Kong has lost too much time. We have lost a precious time. While we have patriots administering Hong Kong today, we must enhance the beneficial cooperation between the executive and the legislature so that we can stand united and address livelihood issues and enhance our growth impetus so that uh, with a more, in a more ambitious manner, we can further develop GBA. This is the first step forward. We have uh, shown the mainland government uh, a new page in Hong Kong, and we should strike when the iron is hot and then deal with further research, and we can have more specific cooperation with different cities in the GBA so that we can uh, use our advantages to support the development of GBA. Meanwhile, we will also see high-quality development, and we can give fuller play to our potential. Thank you. Mr. Porter. Uh, Mr. Tony is there. Thank you, President. I'm grateful to Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving this motion on uniting the executive and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA so that we have the opportunity to um, summarize our experience and what we have learned in the trip to GBA. I have four observations during the trip. First, it is a show of how in a new era, the executive and legislature work together to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. We showed our commitment. In 2015, uh, the GBA development was first proposed. In 2017, it was incorporated into the State Council's plan. And in 2019, the outline plan for development of the GBA was uh, formally promulgated. Unfortunately, those were the years when we saw serious polarization and arguments in society and in legislature. A relations between the executive and the legislature was at an uh, all-time low. Any talks about uh, collaboration will be demonized and black-mouthed. Any attempt to further our collaboration and development uh, would be accused of um, uh, ulterior motive. And then uh, we have lost a lot of precious time and opportunities in between. Individual legislators, of course, have tried to organize mainland visits. But then uh, the um, community would only uh, focus on whether there would be demonstrations and chanting of slogans and protests the focus was not on what could be achieved. This time we were very united. We showed great solidarity. Members of the executive and, and uh, legislature enhanced uh, understanding of one another. We also tried to see what we can learn from GBA cities. My second observation is the development of INT in the GBA is really amazing. I have visited some of the cities in the past, but uh, after a lapse of a few years, I think my visit was indeed an eye-opener for me. INT is also developing in Hong Kong, but not as the, at the same speed as that of the mainland. This is particularly so when it comes to the commercialization and industrialization of our ND outcomes. We should apply our INT capacity and our um, expertise to promote development of industries to, 
to improve people's livelihood. We can improve our procurement policy and import talents into Hong Kong to enhance our results. And the third observation is the conservation of historical buildings. I've always criticized our own policy for uh, only preserving but not conserving our precious heritage in Hong Kong. The government is only concerned about uh, not allowing those uh, buildings to collapse, but it has not considered how such sites can be revitalized and make them useful. I think we have a lot to learn from the mainland. We uh, went to uh, Nantau, ancient town, and also uh, Foshan, where they successfully incorporated conservation and tourism. They used uh, history to develop tourism and in turn that supported commercial activities that uh, yield revenue for further conservation. As a result, the local people and visitors are able to have a better understanding of the culture and history of these places. Again, we can learn from their practice. And the last point is how we can use a land development policies to promote development of industries, to enhance uh, city management. Uh, this is a rather big topic. Time is limited today. I will uh, elaborate on this on another occasion. With this, Marx, I support the motion. Mr. Scott Flow. Thank you, President. I thank Mr. Duncan Chu for his motion. I support it. His motion is on uniting the executive branch and the legislature to forge ahead with GBA development. A GBA is part of our country strategy. At the 20th Party Congress report, GBA development and support for Hong Kong and Macau to better integrate into our national development are key to our country, our nation's rejuvenation. The better we develop, the better it is as an example as to where we start with the, our country's strategy. We need to be up to date about the country's development. Only then we can seize the opportunities in arts, commerce, in finance, and other areas. Chief Executive John Lee led logical members to visit Shenzhen, Dongguan, Foshan, and Guangzhou. We had a chance to visit and experience for ourselves the developments in the GBA. We learned about the developments in the GBA. We also saw the solidarity between the executive branch and the legislature. There was chaos in the past. Relations were poor between the executive branch and the legislature, but that's behind us. Now we're seeing good interactions, good dialogue between the legislature and the executive branch. With an executive-led model, there are checks and balances, but there is also cooperation. That's how we can achieve development and deliver well-being for our people. President, during our trip, we also had an exchange with the Hong Kong people living in other parts of the GBA. In Dongguan, we met the business people from Hong Kong there. We exchanged views on transport links. I'm from A4. We proposed a metroization of the express rail link. When I talked to the Hong Kong businessmen in the mainland, they agreed that we need more frequent trains for the express rail link, just like the subway or the MTR in Hong Kong. We all want to see better transport links between Hong Kong and the rest of the GBA. We want to see shorter commuting time, overcome geographical distances. That way, we can bring Hong Kong closer to the GBA, and that's how we can complement one another's strengths. Another thing that left me impressed, we visited the Dongguan, Jian Yuzhou Culture and Creative Park. Much of our craft is hidden and scattered across the city. As we develop our city, they are ignored. But in the Creative Park, we see revitalization of old factories. That showed development is compatible with conservation. We had what's from the last century, and then we have modern art. They were brought into the contemporary pop culture. So it was a cultural district with handicraft 
and there was also hotels that reminded people of the old industrial districts. That actually became a good spot for young people to take selfies. And there were also all kinds of mobile marketplaces that contributed to region local economy. And that's a good example. The Hong Kong government can consider removing barriers in policies. As I proposed for store markets, we can have cooked food, we can remove the barriers. That's how we can create attractions with Hong Kong characteristics. We can create all those attractions, route, say, routes based on culture, creativity, or green experience. That's how we can bring tourists from other parts of the GBA to come here, take selfies, and spread the word. This visit also helped us learn better, learn more about the current and future developments of the GBA. We've also seen areas where we can do better in Hong Kong and where we can learn from other cities. President, I believe that visit is just a start. I hope that in the future, we can have more duty visits like that. That way, we can learn about our country's development in greater depth, and we can also learn from the success stories from the mainland and then contribute to our developing Hong Kong and for our country. President, I so submit I support Mr. Chiu's motion. Next, Dr. Kennedy Wong. President, with the staunch support of the central authorities, the high quality development of GBA has entered a new stage. We need to seize the opportunities in Hong Kong. We need to put patriotism at the core. And we also need these mainstream values combining patriotism and one country, two systems. We need inclusion, tolerance, a can do spirit. At the same time, we should also support the current term government in providing strong impetus for our growth which should work towards facilitating the flow of elements in the GBA and also their development. The chief executive led officials and electoral members on a visit to the mainland cities of the GBA. We visited Shenzhen, Dongguan, Foshan, Guangzhou. Many officials and electoral members visited various cities to find out the developments there. The chief executive just returned from a visit to Chongqing. This shows the cordial relationship between the executive branch and legislature. We share a common goal, and that's how we can integrate into the GPA. We leverage our strength and achieve a win-win outcome for everyone. We need to overcome barriers and also come up with ways to cooperate and concrete policies. That way, we can have a true integration and in the GBA. We need more than just a framework. We need also substantive results. Our officials, as they talk with to their counterparts in the mainland, should also step up exchange at the work level. From the middle rank upwards, Civil servants in Hong Kong need to consider how they can better support the principal officials, how they can work with the mainland counterparts in sorting out problems. For example, I have been advocating cross-boundary e-commerce. In driving the change, we need multiple mainland authorities involved, the, main, the mainland customs, and all kinds of boundary, boundary enforcement agencies. The Hong Kong SCL government should also have the relevant counter departments to talk to the mainland authorities. We have a different system here from that in Hong Kong. So we need high level leadership and coordination. We need interdepartmental working groups, work with the mainland authorities to resolve the existing problems. The officials should listen to logical members' views and also the comments from other stakeholders in the community so that the government can talk to the mainland with more information at hand and more strategies at the ready. That way, you can resolve problems effectively. So what we, should we do now? For me, I take part in a consultative conference of Nansha Guangzhou. This body adopts a model of advisory committees in Hong Kong. On that committee, we have experts, scholars, representatives from Hong Kong and Guangzhou. So and we have this model where we have the government to body and the government to society models. The advisory committee 
comes with 14 working groups. They work together in driving cooperation in various areas, and they provide practicable suggestions, and that has worked well. So my suggestion is the government should follow this model. In the future, in the nine cities, mainland cities of the GBA, the government should set up advisory bodies like that. That way, our officials will get a better sense of the public pulse, and we can also better integrate the systems. This also shows that as the legislature and the executive branch monitor one another, they should also work together, and then with also with input from the community, that will help us drive integration in the GBA. In the past, we have had success stories with public private participation. We can take that to the GBA too. There, there is the investment fund of Hong Kong. We can work with private investors. We can invest in the GBA in projects involving infrastructure and also education, elderly care, health care for Hong Kong people. By doing that, we can contribute to the GBA's high quality development, improve people's lives, and that's how we can kill multiple birds with one stone. President, I so submit, I support the motion. Next, Mr. Perry Yu. President, I thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for his motion. Last month, Mr. John Lee led us on this visit to four cities in the GBA. That shows the legislature can work with the executive branch and there is good governance. We will no longer be politicizing and there's no more filibustering. We're not putting politics before people's lives. We can actually deliver and we do deliver results. This visit is a good start. But the GPA development takes more than just the work of the legislature and the executive branch. We need community-wide involvement. So the government should go one step further. We need more G2G and B2B exchanges. We need to work harder to integrate into the country's development. We visited many places during the trip. A different part, there were exciting things for us to experience. And from the tourism sector, I attach importance to the air traffic sector. We visited the air logistics park in Dongguan. This project was actually taken forward by the current chief executive who was still the secretary for security back then. 75% of the GBA's air traffic went through Hong Kong. We have a C2 air transshipment and single customs clearance that helps save time. And this is an example of complementarity among different cities in the GBA. To better serve the GBA, the airport authority has set up various networks and strategically set up lounges we now have C2 air transshipment and also passenger service at the Sky Pier terminal. Travelers can take one I any of the 10 boundary crossings and go to the airport. The services will be extended to the Sky Pier terminal so that future travelers from other parts of the GBA can take the Hong Kong Drew Macau Bridge and ex experience seamless transition from C to air, and that can help boost our status as an aviation hub. Now turning to culture and arts, we need not just tourists to Hong Kong, we need to serve the entire GBA and promote multi-destination tourism, we need more tourism products with GBA characteristics. The tourism sector can work with their counterparts in the GBA. During the trip, we have seen tech firms, BYD, Dajiang, Huawei. We have experienced all kinds of tech products and that's of huge educational value. This is something for young people to learn. I hope that the government can let the mainland know and we should create the conditions so that for the tourism sector, we can create more tours involving the mainland's technological development. In that way, people learn more about the country. In the CPC Shenzhen, Party Secretary, he emphasized more exchanges between us. I visited Nansha in Guangzhou. There, they are promoting coastal defense culture. They are, work, they are stepping up work on the relics of coastal defense. In Lantau and Tonglongchao, we have the batteries, old forts. They were actually built around the same time. They were key parts of the coastal defense during the Qing Dynasty. There are the 
defense relics in the mainland, and we also have here in Hong Kong the Coastal Defense Museum. In that way, we can have this entire route involving coastal defense. Some days ago, the Nansha Tourism Board also contacted me. They will have an exhibition on the non-tangible heritage in this area. So I talked to the relevant persons. I can I could talk to them about our non-tangible cultural heritage. President, similar collaborations can happen, and we can see many such cases, and we can have more collaboration. This visit, I believe, is just a start. And this is just the first step of the government's cooperation with the electrical. The government needs to work with the sector, encourage and support the sector, visit different parties, support them, talk to them, so that our trade here can talk to the counterpart in the GBA. In that case, various trade can seize the opportunities of the GBA. President, there are boundless opportunities, and there's a bright future for our collaboration. We should all work together, catch up, make up for lost time, get ahead. I so submit and I submit in a supportive motion. Mr. So Cheng Wing, thank you, President. John Lee, the Chief Executive, led a delegation of uh, government officials and uh, legislators to visit four cities in the GBA. It shows that we all realize the importance of the, of the development of the GBA. And this is a healthy cooperation between the legislature and the executive. But how can we transform the visit into policies to build a one uh, market in the GBA and to enable flow of um, factors and elements, I think that will be the next stage. I support Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion. There is healthy interaction between the legislature and the executive in this visit. This shows a new chapter of the improved uh, electoral system. We, got, we all got a better understanding of the development of the GBA in terms of um, INT, city management, and other areas. We can learn from these experience. We work together and got results. This is a good example. The government launched various measures relating to the GBA, and they need funding support of the legislature. If members don't have sufficient understanding of the opportunities and development of the GBA, or even, like in the old days, op the opposition refused to have any exchanges with the mainland, then how could we have cooperated with the government to seize the opportunities? This visit has been successful and it shows the importance of us working together. The executive and the legislature, how can we um, work more in sync? I have some suggestions. First, we need to work out um, what are our common concerns. We see the GBA taking shape, and this is an important stage to see whether our policies have been effective. The executive and the legislature should work on overcoming systemic difficulties and work on uh, the advantage of one country, two systems, a free um, tax, uh, customs, their territories, and different jurisdictions and systems, and turn them into a our advantage. The legislature and the executive should leave no stone unturned to find ways. And we need to keep an open mind to remove barriers, say, for example, flow of talent within the GBA in terms of um, Emerging industries and innovation and technology, how can we work together better? How can we ensure flow of uh, different factors of uh, production? What about uh, government to government 
interface and business to business interface and this cannot these cannot be resolved with just one visit we need to have continuous negotiation and discussion we need to have a good a top designed in an um, arrangement there should be working groups on topical issues to have in-depth discussion so that uh, improvements can be made to policies back to the legislature where we monitor the government we work with the government we do our parts but we need to be familiar with uh, the different subjects before we earn the right to speak Legislators should be grouped together to look into specific uh, topics before we act. I so submit, Ms. Priscilla Leung. President, I speak in support of today's motion, that is, uniting the executive and the legislature in the development of the GBA. I thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving the motion. If we are to achieve that, first of all, the executive and the legislature should be in sync. With the improved electoral system, we now have patriots administering Hong Kong in the legislature. We are an important element in the governing team with the government. There is no you and me in the team, but it doesn't mean that we have to be exactly the same. We all play different functions. We have different strengths. We have different folk, uh, foci. I believe that members here have been making contributions to Hong Kong and to the mainland. They have experience in um, service in their respective areas. They are all, we are all elites. We have legislator, legislators uh, with very rich experience in management and, ex and ex execution of measures. We can all work together to complement one another. How can we work together on different areas? First of all, we need to have a common mentality. We are, uh, we are in the same team. We are not on the opposing side. If the government's project succeeds is the success of the of the LegCo. If our suggestions have been accepted by the government, is also the success of the government. If we can achieve that, then is a, this is a realization of one team. The chief executive is very, very experienced in leading a team. We have um, the secretaries of departments and the 12 bureaus together with the 90 legislators. If we all tap into our own expertise in our field, then it's more than one plus one equals three. The result is exponential. Tomorrow's interac interaction should be um, C, well, C, and as the CE interactive consultative uh, Q&A session. Well, members of the public want to feel that they're close to legislators and government officials. Uh, we also want to feel the same towards government officials. We are of the same team, but we have different functions. How can we win this game of chess? The legislature and the executive should move in sync. Members have a lot of ideas and suggestions, but sometimes we only have the chance to speak our mind. And uh, if it's taken on board by the government, then another team will take it up. If we have good suggestions and if the uh, proposers can join these teams, to carry out this, uh, the idea, then it, it can be like a pet project for the legislator. And instead of they float the idea and then they wash their hands. I've made some suggestions. One is that Hong Kong and Shanghai 
should work together to set up the uh, third uh, exchange for crude oil. We can make use of Hong Kong's position as um, a place where there is a free flow of currency and um, free market. And we can also play into our advantage of um, the rule of law and the practice of uh, common, log common law. If project, if idea uh, proposes uh, can get involved in carrying out the ideas, then it will be great because we can see to it that it, it, it gets materialized. President Xi visited Guangdong twice and participated in the Guangdong um, MP, uh, MPC session. This was uh, an was a great opportunity, and we need to try to catch up. Our state leader floated the common future for all mankind. The GBA is the major development in the coming five years. We have to have our Hong Kong uh, proposal. I so submit. Mr. Tang Ka Piu. Mr. Vincent Chang. Thank you, Mr. Deputy. I'd like to thank Mr. Duncan Chu for moving the motion on uniting the executive and the legislature in the development of the GBA. I speak in support of this motion. The CE led a team of officials and, legislat and legislators to visit uh, four cities in the GBA in late April. It was uh, fruitful. We have seen um, great developments and changes after the epidemic. Using this chance, uh, we can all talk about what we've learned from the visit, and and this will benefit us all. And I've heard suggestions from members, and I think they are of great reference um, value. And I will talk about how I feel about um, electricity transport. Back to the visit, the chief executive led officials and legislators. To a visit in the GBA, it's a high-level visit, and it also shows that uh, the executive and the legislature are working together. Well, under the principle of patriots administering Hong Kong, um, the executive and the legis le legislature working together will be able to seize the opportunities of the GBA, and this will inject impetus of development in mainland and in Hong Kong. We've uh, visited uh, Shenzhen, Foshan, Guangdong, and Dongguan. In Shenzhen, I saw a lot of um, INT enterprises. We have Tencent, we have uh, BYD. First, I would like to talk about Sky Shuttle of BYD. The DAB has been proposing that in the Kai Ta New Development Area, there should be an elevated light rail system linking Kai Ta Sports Park along the waterfront promenade to Kuntong. This will alleviate uh, congestion in Kuntong. But because of high project costs, the government did not take it on board. Instead, they said they'd impose that row via um, Choi Hong Xiao Ping. They would uh, look into using an elevated uh, viaduct system. And this time, we've all had a ride on the Sky Shuttle. We could we could experience the use of a, um, AI, and we see that um, the uh, cost is uh, quite affordable. The uh, specifications required by Sky Shuttle is lower, so the government should seriously consider introducing uh, um, a viaduct um, trackless system to address the traffic congestion problem in Kowloon East. I'd like to also talk about uh, culture, um, cultural industries. We went to Foshan. In, ter in terms of redeveloping old districts, uh, they have good preservation of uh, relics and has combined um, heritage preservation and uh, new elements. And there are also commercial elements in that uh, area, and it's a lot of room for um, for creative industries to grow. They said that they, they should use a cultural industry to promote tourism, and then the tourism will benefit it the economy, and then the economy will benefit other industries. Well, Hong Kong is where the East meets the, the West. We can take um, reference uh, from the experience. We can combine the different elements uh, to inject new growth impetus. Now I move on to sports. 
in terms of uh, sports development in the, in the GBA, well, I've always said that uh, there should be an, a sports development office of the GBA. This ties in with the, the 14 5 year plan to um, enable more cooperation, say, for example, different tournaments, championship, and in um, and also a GBA a Dragon Ball Festival or Hong Kong Marathon in the GBA. I'm a vice chairperson of um, mega events. I see that there are lots of international games coming to Hong Kong, but we don't see GBA um, leagues, say for example, Guangzhou v Shenzhen, Shenzhen v Dongguan. But the national game is a good opportunity. And I think that we need to make use of uh, sports activities to speed up integration of uh, Hong Kong, Guangdong and Macau. All in all, I think that the GBA visit made, it, made us understand that uh, we have uh, very good advantages and we can work better to uh, dovetail the development of our country. I so submit. Wong Guang. Mr. Kingsley Wong. Thank you, President. Under the improved electoral system and the principle of patriots administering Hong Kong, it is a good start that we have a good cooperation and communication with the executive, and uh, we should be bold in doing good things for Hong Kong. Now, uh, we want to enhance collaboration with the mainland GBA cities. In we can uh, work in terms of uh, innovation, technology, environmental protection, youth development, etc. Now, on elderly services, we face an aging population. We have 1.6 million Hong Kong residents who are over 65 years old, and the figure will grow to 2 million by 2050. So one out of uh, five will be elders. And then uh, we have uh, more than 10,000 we are over 100,000 Hong Kong people, ordinary residents in the GBA, and about 90% uh, of them no longer have homes in Hong Kong, and they have a great demand for residential care homes. However, the waiting list or the waiting time for home services is long in Hong Kong, and the uh, elderly care homes are rather congested in Shenzhen, Yantian, and Xiaoying. We have two subsidized uh, elderly care homes for elders to choose from, and it's difficult for our elders to age in place. Now, we're told that we must uh, make use of the good opportunities available in the GPA so that we can have an additional option for our elders. I just suggested to the SL government to procure quality elderly care homes in Shamjan, and we can use the uh, care and um, community fund uh, to implement a trial scheme. And then uh, these uh, care homes uh, should be near uh, three AIDS hospitals in the mainland for uh, medical checkups and consultations and follow up appointments. There are over 170,000 aged between 0 and 14 years old living uh, in the Guangdong province. They face uh, education, employment, and counseling needs. We should have uh, childcare centers and youth centers to serve them. And thirdly, cross-border cooperation in um, medical services. The queues in Hong Kong are long. For instance, for joint replacement, the average waiting time in a public hospital in Hong Kong is six or uh, five years. Some can be as long as eight to nine years. In a private hospital, such an operation costs you over $100,000. Recently, uh, there are patients who replaced uh, their um, hip joints or knee joint in a hospital in Shamjan, uh, and that cost only $27,000 and it took only three days. So we can procure services in Shamjan so that HA patients can receive safe treatment over there. And we don't have to worry about the uh, technology and also the cost. And I think it's a win-win situation. I urge the administration to expedite cross-boundary 
collaboration of medical services to address the pressing medical needs in Hong Kong. Uh, with the 1st of June, June, we will have um, vehicles from Hong Kong uh, going northbound. This is an important move to promote flow of people between the two places. At the two sessions, I made um, a move a motion asking for insurance coverage to be provided and also recognition of uh, vehicle examination uh, certificates. Now we have already got insurance coverage on the mainland, so there is no longer the question of double insurance. But then for vehicle examination, Hong Kong vehicles are required to do both, and that is um, costly. So we must uh, expedite the integration with cities in the GBA. With these remarks, I support Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion. Professor William Wong. Thank you, President. I'm most grateful to Mr. Tan Ken Chiu for sponsoring this motion on uniting the executive authorities in the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. First, we, as uh, legislators and government officials, are uh, able to uh, speak freely our uh, our um, views uh, during the trip to uh, the GBA cities. Now we visited uh, Tencent and BYD and observed their development in technology that was very impressive and useful and we can also consider possible cooperation opportunities. For us to visit the logistics park, uh, which is a joint contract a project of uh, Hong Kong AA and Dongguan, I think that was an excellent project. It goes to show the fruit of cooperation between Hong Kong and a GBA city in the mainland. In the past three years, when COVID-19 struck, our economy was uh, somehow sluggish. However, the Hong Kong Airport Authority was not idle. It was working hard to prepare for this project. And it was a good example. We have to take into account the fact that we are among the top when it comes to aviation and air freight, our uh, shipping industry has somehow lagged behind other places, but we still enjoy advantages in air freight. And we have many manufacturers with production plants in Dongguang, and their commodities have to be shipped out. The logistics chain used to be a bit clumsy and slow, and so we have initiated a cooperation project between Hong Kong and Dongguan. It was uh, really a very good project to show how both cities can use their respective advantages to benefit one another. During the trip, the executive and the legislature walked much closer to one another. I look forward to similar trips in the future, and I look forward to more projects similar to the Logistics Park, which is a joint venture between Hong Kong AA and Dongguan, and that will expedite the development of GBA and expedite the integration of Hong Kong with the country. Thank you. Mr. Chen Kim Po. Thank you, President. Last month, the chief executive led government officials and legislators to a visit in the GBA, and it was the first visit of this kind when uh, we have uh, patriots administering Hong Kong. Now, during the trip, we were able to better understand the development of the GBA. We had the opportunity of in-depth uh, communication with uh, leaders of uh, mainland 
authorities. And we are grateful to Mr. Tan Ken Chiu for sponsoring this motion so that we can all express our views and observations. We believe that this kind of visits can help to build up communication and mutual trust. The legislature, as part of the government governing team of the SAL government, though we have different roles, we need to monitor the executive as well as to support the work of the executive. So legislators uh, should give constructive advice to the executive before uh, we have f patriots administering Hong Kong, the opposition frequently criticized the government for whatever suggestions they gave. They did not give useful suggestions, and that caused chaos in Hong Kong. Much of our legislation is still outdated because since the reunification, we haven't been able to fulfill our duty as the legislature. Now that we're back to the right track, we will gatekeep in uh, vetting legislation and assist the government in doing its job better. I'm sure this visit has demonstrated the significance of unity between the executive and the legislature. We visited four places. We uh, view development in innovation and technology and environmental protection, arts and culture and sports, etc. I'm sure government officials will make more visits to the cities of GBA. And uh, for the itinerary, a, mem a number of members have commented on it. I will not dwell on that anymore. But the visit is a good opportunity for us to exchange views with officials of municipalities and uh, also provinces. We are all willing to deepen our cooperation. Their enthusiasm was really touching. I hope on our side we uh, adopt the same attitude so that we can expedite collaboration and integration with them. Of course, uh, we must ensure there is there are mutual benefits. We must uh, take into account the position of our counterparts. Otherwise, we cannot have sustained cooperation. We should establish closer and stronger ties with officials across the boundaries so that we can really become brother cities and we can achieve a women situation. In the early days of the unification, communication between Hong Kong officials and mainland counterparts are not were not so good. Uh, they had different ways of doing things and seeing things. Now government officials are willing to uh, speak fluent Putonghua and mainland officials are very ambitious and competent. There is good communication between the two sides. For further integration, we must uh, break through the uh, barricades of uh, differences in culture so that collaboration or cooperation within GBA can be smoother. We should also establish close ties with enterprises and the mainland. There should be more communication and we should strive for more cooperation room. Thank you. Mr. Andrew Lam, President, I thank Mr. Duncan Chu for the motion. As the motion says, the chief executive led government officials and led your members on the visit to the mainland cities of the GBA. This was a significant move. One key message is this. The government works closely with the Legislative Council in implementing measures that are productive, constructive for the GBA. We have the improved electoral system. We're now seeing the executive branch on good terms with the legislature. There was senseless confrontation. There was tension, and the legislature was paralyzed. Now, things are different. There is better interaction between the legislature and the executive branch. They work with each other, so we can now deliver for people. And the legislature is back to its original role, sticking to the facts, staying pragmatic, helping the government with its work. We went on this visit, we learned a lot and saw a lot, and we need to reflect on what we saw and learned. 
The chief executive said we need to make up for lost time. Indeed, this visit was an eye-opener. We all learned a lot during the visit. As we're back to Hong Kong, we're looking for opportunities, want to get things moving. I look beyond just learning from a particular industry. I'm looking at how we can work together to contribute to our country. So first, for Hong Kong, alongside other GBA cities, we cannot just copy everything from other cities. We need to get a clear picture of what we are good at. The 14 five-year plan sets out eight roles for us. It's more than just about the GBA. We need to serve our functions, the eight roles under GBA. We need to leverage what the GBA has to offer and its manpower, etc. Manpower and the space are our short, where we fall short. We are unique. We have one country, two systems. We need cities complementing one another instead of simply copying what other cities in the GBA are doing. To support our country's development, we need to make use of our networks and our unique traits. We need to keep the eight centers in mind, and we need to come up with measures and standards that can influence the mainland. We need to work with the mainland cities. We need to facilitate the flow of capital, information, and people. And we're talking about free flow of all that. That way, we can expand the market and the pool of manpower in the GBA. And we also need to set out clearly the roles and responsibilities in our governance system in executing policies. At the same time, the government needs to take the initiative break new grounds in policies. The government has already made moves in being initiative. Now there is the 110 GBA standards, food safety, quality, cuisine, electronics, healthcare, education, e-sports, all these are covered. GBA standards are not compulsory standards. But then we have the GBA government and business coming together, and that's a milestone in our progress. In the GBA, we have three customs territories and three jurisdictions. There are challenges. We need to bring people, capital, information together in creating a conducive environment so that becomes a livable place, a place also attractive to tourists. We need multilateral discussions, and that's no easy task. We need to coordinate across different parties. First, there are the Guangzhou government and the Hong Kong government. Within the Hong Kong government, there are various departments. Innovation, technology, culture, sports, ecology, environment, youth development, everything. You need departments and bureaus to work together. Instead of having them work in silos, you need better coordination and speed up the development of the GBA. President, that's all submit. Mr. Edward Lau. Thank you, President. I, I speak in support of Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion. The GBA development will bring opportunities for our economy. Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion is about high quality development for the GBA. I support his motion. The Chief Executive led almost all electoral members on this trip to the mainland part cities of the GBA. We saw a lot and we learned a lot. We had exchanges. I, for myself, have learned a lot. Now, we, I can go on and on about particular places we visited. But then the key point is this. As you can see in the motion, bringing together the legislature and the executive branch. It's not just about leaving for a destination together. We visited many places. Things have worked in other parts of the GBA, but they did not work out in Hong Kong. We need to reflect on this. What is it? that we need to forge a consensus on. We need not just action, but also consensus. Say we want innovation and technology. 
we may have to live with higher costs for new technologies things may not work out in the end so the results may fall short of expectations with innovation and technology mistakes can happen we need a new culture here The government needs to work with the electrical as a team for the interest of the Hong, Hong Kong community as a whole. In the past, the electrical called for government reforms, changes to the civil service, but the culture was like a mistake happened, the cost went up, and then there was simply finger pointing. So the civil service felt it made more sense to stick to the old ways, the safe ways, and refuse to take a step forward. So in our mindset, we need to work as one. Are we all willing to accept new ideas? New ideas worked out elsewhere, we see the results, but they have also paid the price. So for us here, the government and the let's go. We have to brace for these potential problems too. Say we want innovation, or like the case of BYD, which is a success. For BYD, it wasn't all smooth sailing. BYD needed the staunch support of the Shenzhen government. For the taxis and buses in Shenzhen, they adopted BYD vehicles across the board. There was policy support, procurement support in Shenzhen. So for us here in the northern metropolis in the future or in the science park in the cyber port, some firms may perform well. Are we willing to procure more of the products or services from our local firms? Huawei has achieved success with their Oxhorn, but then they were granted a huge plot of land for their industrial park. They built apartments for their talent. So for our land grant system, can we do something? Now, we used to go by the system where the highest bidder wins. Can we break new ground with our land grant system? In the GBA, there are success stories. But then behind those success stories, what's the work done by those governments in support of their firms? Here, the current term government is willing to break new ground and take a step forward. So we need not just the electrical on board, we need the entire community on board for innovation, for high quality development. We need a new consensus. We need to work as one and work towards a goal. President, the sole submit. Mr. Jeffrey Lam. Deputy President, first, I thank the Chief Executive. After normal travel is resumed, the chief executive led government officials and electoral members on a trip to the mainland cities of the GBA. This visit is a key step in fostering exchanges between Hong Kong and the mainland. This also shows with patriots governing and administering Hong Kong, we have a healthy relationship between the executive branch and the legislature. The GBA is the most open and economically most vibrant parts of our country. For us to integrate into our country's development, we go from a city or an economy of 7 million people into part of a super economy with more than 80 million people. There is impetus, there are boundless opportunities. After three years, the mainland cities of the GBA are developing by leaps and bounds in their planning and many other ways. We visited places, we saw things that was an eye-opener. It was also an inspiring experience and gave us ideas on how to resolve our problems. We also felt that we need to catch up quickly. This trip helped us 
understand the latest developments in the mainland cities in the GBA. We learned about the latest technologies, the new infrastructure, and experience from urban management. Many things in their experience are worth learning for us. In Foshan, we visited a robotics company. There, they produced robots for the construction industry. Steady performance, and also it helps reduce the risks for construction workers. We will have the Northern Metropolis and the artificial islands in essential waters. In the construction sectors, there's a worker shortage. Can we start at the planning stage? Can we look into bringing in robots to help us with the work? We also visited a sewer treatment plant. So they, on the ground, there is greenery, vegetation. It's a beautiful place. And then deep underneath, they have the sewer treatment facilities. No odor. You don't smell anything. Here in Hong Kong, we have disputes about the obnoxious facilities. If we can bring in the technology from the mainland, then people here will be less resistant to those facilities. Deputy President, our country has strong support for our integration into national development. But then at the practical level, for Hong Kong and our business to set up operation in other parts of the GBA, we are confronted with problems. Take for instance, Hong Kong business sets up a company, they need to file tax returns. They need to get in touch with the mainland authorities in time. They want to resolve the problems. We propose which, that the government should strengthen the role of the Hong Kong government's offices in Guangzhou. We need at least one office in each of the nine GBA cities in the mainland there to support Hong Kong people and Hong Kong businesses in those cities. I hope the Hong Kong government can also talk to the mainland, the central authorities, so that we can have more measures for our businesses to invest in the GBA. For example, for the entire GBA, we need Hong Kong tax for Hong Kong businesses in the GBA. And for expats working in Hong Kong, we should issue a GBA pass for those expatriates working in Hong Kong so that they can go to the other parts of the GBA and have exchanges on technology, etc. For banking, we propose the faster payment system for cross-boundary purposes and across sectors. We should also have mutual access with the mainland payment options. In account opening, they should be made simple so that people can open the mainland bank account easily. We should talk to the mainland about scrapping the restrictions and caps on remittances. Acting President, as the Chief Executive said, this visit was only a starting point. I hope that the government can set and organize more visits to the mainland so that we can work more closely and Hong Kong can better integrate into national development and deliver what our country needs with what we are good at as so submit. Ms. Lam So Wai. Thank you, Mr. Deputy. I thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving the motion on uniting the executive and the legislature in the development of GBA. On the 1st of July last year, President Xi said that Hong Kong has the full support of our country uh, to seize the opportunity of national development, and Hong Kong should integrate into GBA and other strategic developments. We have the support of our country. We're connected with the world. We have a unique advantage. The development of the GBA is an opportunity for us to better integrate into national development. And we are to develop the GBA. I'm concerned about uh, youth services and elderly services. First of all, President Xi said in the 1st of July speech that, um, well, the country will thrive when young people thrive. So youngsters is, our, um, is an asset, is our future, is our pillar, is also the future of one country, two systems. GBA can provide economic development for Hong Kong. It is also an important uh, development opportunity after the epidemic. There will be more opportunities for youngsters. Last month, I thank the chief executive for leading legislators for a visit in the GBA. We went to the um, Shenzhen Hong Kong Youth um, Base in Tianhai. We saw a lot of um, opportunities for youngsters to pursue their dreams. We have a we have a joint uh, committee 
setting up this um, dream base for Hong Kong. And this is the first stop for Hong Kong people to go to the mainland to pursue their dreams. A lot of people have ha uh, developed their businesses there. There is a young um, artist in Hong Kong, Miss Tang. She's created um, 56 um, uh, dolls for the different uh, tribes and race, races in in China. And uh, she's showcased the unique characteristics of the different uh, ethnicities in, in, in China. This will further promote our culture. It also forge a sense of uh, love for uh, Chinese culture amongst young people. We have little upward mobility for youngsters. In this uh, youth dream base, we see facilitating measures. And this is uh, also a sign that Hong Kong people should pursue their dreams in the GBA, and they can uh, turn the impossible into possible. Hong Kong is entering an ultra high, uh, high age society. We have an aging population. We have an increasing population of elderly people. This puts pressure on health care and elderly services. The government uh, advocates aging in place with the support of uh, residential care home. But for care homes in Hong Kong, there is a long waiting time. On Monday, Last week, I just went to I uh, went to Shenzhen for a visit of an elderly care home. I saw the difference between Hong Kong and China in terms of services. Well, um, the homes are more spacious with higher um, staff ratio, and this is an advantage over Hong Kong. We have a Guangdong residential scheme covering Shenzhen and Zhaoqing. There are two NGOs being subsidized to operate elderly homes. So uh, elderly people on the waiting list can go there to get a place. In Hong Kong, in particular, residential service. Well, the care home I visited on Monday is paradise. It's a block of four stories. On each floor, there are different um, rooms for special needs. There are services uh, for um, elderly people suffering from a stroke. There is a three-month period providing continuous care for elderly people uh, so that they can um, recover better. The government should pick up its pace and to in Zhongshan, Guangdong, uh, Dongguan and Guangzhou, where Hong Kong people usually go, expand the scope of the residential home scheme um, so that um, there can be more uh, operators introduced for the service. Mr. Lo Wai Kwok. Mr. President, I first of all thank, would like to thank Mr. Chiu for moving the motion. With the improved electoral system and patriots administering Hong Kong, we have a healthy interaction between the executive and the legislature. We all work for the good of Hong Kong. Now, Mr. John Lee, between the 21st and 24th of April, we visited Shenzhen, Foshan, Guangdong, and Dongguan. This is our first mainland visit. It has significance. We had a very crammed uh, itinerary covering a uh, smart city, youth development, culture, arts, um, and INT. This gives us an, op an opportunity to get a better understanding of the latest development in the GBA. This further promotes cooperation between Hong Kong and the mainland. I would like to share with you what I've learned. In Shenzhen, we visited BYD. BYD has launched uh, various types of commercial vehicles. We were very interested. We have a rapid increase in uh, e-vehicles in Hong Kong, but when it comes to commercial e-vehicles, the pace is rather slow. We have uh, got a ride on the Sky Shuttle, and um, Sky Shuttle works on uh, a viaduct. 
and uh, we can look into whether it can be put to use in Hong Kong. This is a green transport system. And we've also uh, visited another research base. Um, there is a Hong Kong company oh, um, developing drones. Well, we have uh, the Hong Kong U team that um, is renowned in the, in the world. They've made great contributions. And then we, we visited uh, Tianhai Youth uh, Dream Base. This is a base uh, for youngsters in Hong Kong, Shenzhen, and Macau to pursue their dreams. Uh, we have 5% of people coming from Hong Kong. There are over 400 enterprises there. Funding is provided to enterprises there, and there's also assistance in terms of fi uh, finance and other areas. I say that the government uh, should continue to support Hong Kong youngsters uh, to support uh, to pursue their dreams. And then uh, I visit, I, uh, our team visited uh, Dongguan. Well, I was quite interested in the logistic park in Dongguan operated by the Hong Kong International Airport Authority. It's a one-stop uh, service uh, for um, uh, multimodal transshipment for goods to go to other places in Hong Kong. For incoming um, goods, uh, they can go to different cities in, Hong, uh, in, in the mainland via Hong Kong. I'm a member of the airport authority. We've gone through an epidemic of three years, and uh, we saw that different parties have been working on the logistics park, and this in turn consolidates our status as an international aviation cent uh, center. We've also visited our, our Huawei town, which provides uh, an opportunity for about 30,000 people on uh, research. Huawei is a leading company in um, infrastructural uh, um, facilities. In the in the nineteen nineties, I I saw uh, Huawei grew grow um, to um, reach different milestones. It's our pride. And then the diff the two teams came back together to visit uh, a reservoir. The phase three is a very advanced facility underground. On uh, on the surface, it's a beautiful park. They use cloud computing and big data to uh, achieve a full uh, smart operation. The end product can be put back into rivers. And then the chief executive visited the Guangdong um, provincial government. I said in my speech that we need the cooperation of professionals in the two places. So a mutual recognition of qualifications is important. In 2019, at the end, there was a, a supplement of SEPA. Guangdong province announced that um, engineering arc, uh, construction professionals can uh, make use of a simple registration to provide services in the GBA. And I said to the leaders of provincial government uh, that we are thankful and we will seize opportunities to um, work together to develop the GBA. Through this visit, government officials and legislators show this a new chapter of a healthy interaction. Well, I thank uh, the mainland officials and staff members for their um, for the hospitality, and we can work together to promote the development of GBA and take it to a new level. Mr. Judy Chen, thank you. I speak in support of Mr. of Duncan Chiu's motion on uniting the executive and the legislature in the development of the GBA. At the beginning of 2019, the central authorities announced uh, the outline development plan of the GBA. This signifies a new stage of uh, development of the GBA. Hong Kong is a part of the GBA. We have the support of our country. We're connected to the world. Well, under the 14-5-year um, plan, we have the positioning of eight centers. We'll be able to better integrate into national development. We visited the GBA last month. As described by Mr. John Lee, this um, visit has shown a new chapter with a minister, a patriot administering Hong Kong and uh, the under the improved electoral system. We all work together for the good of Hong Kong. And this also shows the healthy interaction between the legislature and the executive. This 
improves the governance of Hong Kong. We visited a number of uh, key projects. We get a better understanding of the diversified development of our country. And through interactions, we have enhanced a liaison with mainland cities. We have forged consensus. We work together for the high quality development of the GBA. I believe that uh, you're all, you all share my view. We have personal experience uh, through this visit. We had a better understanding of uh, national development. And when it comes to handling different projects from preparation, exec ex execution to end product, the government uh, has put in a lot of efforts. Uh, there has been a lot of research and survey done to make sure that everything works well. I was once a district councillor and then I've been serving the community. What impressed me most was uh, the wetland park in Dongguan. It's a national wetland park, but before it was materialized, it was it was a place uh, highly polluted and riddled with uh, illegal farms. It was uh, flooded with uh, sludges. Back in 2013, the Guangdong provincial government approved a special plan to develop the the area over 10 years Huayang Lake was planned to become the first development area uh, economic development area on a provincial province so from top level planning policy formulation it only took 10 years to fork to uh, build Huayang Lake. So it shows that uh, natural resources is uh, invaluable. Apart from this success, it, which, is, uh, which benefits uh, the economy, it also greatly enhances people's livelihood. The executive and the legislature should take reference from this. And I think that apart from um, selling GBA to Hong Kong people, we should also take the initiative to organize topical exhibitions and fairs to showcase different industries from cuisine, snacks, to green transport. We can invite these enterprises to come to Hong Kong to showcase uh, their projects so that uh, Hong Kong people will get a better understanding of high quality development on the mainland. It also shows uh, overseas, vis overseas visitors about uh, the pace of development of our country. This will broaden um, cooperation and this will further promote the development of GBA, I speak to support Mr. Chiu's motion. Mr. Kwok Wai Kang, thank you, Mr. Deputy. I speak to support Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the GBA. Mr. Deputy, because of COVID-19, Hong Kong has uh, closed its borders and therefore, exchange with the mainland came to a standstill because of the epidemic. The chief executive led a team of SAR government officials and legislators to visit the GBA. We were very impressed with the rapid development of the mainland. And because of COVID-19, obviously, we are lagging behind. And so we all agree that we must catch up. This is my first point. And furthermore, of course, I hope that the executive authorities and the legislature can attach importance to the GBA development as a major platform to promote development of various sectors in Hong Kong, the innovation and technology industry in particular. Different governments of the mainland provinces and municipalities are highly involved 
in the development of the industries, and they are also very generous in handing out subsidies. In this regard, Hong Kong has fallen behind as well. Take Tianhai as an example. We've heard many young entrepreneurs from Hong Kong saying that the support measures there are rather good. Whether we are talking about uh, shops and offices and uh, f subsidies, they have been given good support and they are also given uh, low cost accommodation. When I discussed uh, with an employee in Tianhai, he was also from Hong Kong. He told me that a 400 square foot flat only cost him $1,000 or so and a great front crime from our local rental. And Success is just a step away. When we were in Tianhai, I met a man also called Guo Wei Keng. In spite of the different uh, character, now he used to live in my neighborhood in Bay in North Point, and he was still in school uniform when he told me that he his name. Uh, sounded the same as mine. And then never did I imagine that he owns his own company in Tianhai. He explained to me the operation of his company. That means so long as young people are uh, enterprising and they are ambitious, there are plenty of opportunities for them. Now for the small enterprises and uh, cultural uh, development, I think we should also learn from the mainland. We visited Nian Yu Chao. It used to be a uh, food produce factories. The old structures were maintained as they were, but then many large enterprises, including Alibaba, had their branch offices there. It was a place rich very rich in culture. Secondly, there were trails on the river bank and uh, young people can operate their small food trolleys there. We have always overlooked the needs of our small enterprises they can be a starting point to train up our young entrepreneurs. We used to have food trucks, but the uh, setup cost was too high. The government can learn from the successful story of Niam Yu Chao so that there can be a place for young people to chill out, uh, to check out, and they can also have their small start outs to accumulate operating experience. Hopefully, the government can do this. Thank you. Mr. Tang Kapiu. Thank you, Mr. Deputy. With regard to the visit to GPA, I feel very honored to be able to be part of uh, the delegation. GBA development is part of our country's development strategy and is even a growth engine for the country. Mr. Wang Kuen-ming, uh, the um, leader of uh, Guangzhou, was very optimistic about GBA. Although the GPD of uh, GBA is not as high as San Francisco, but uh, we have a rich talent pool in R&D, in design, in uh, commercial activities, and in production capacity. Given the very strong advantages we enjoy, there is no reason why we cannot scale new heights. And we can help the country's further development with GBA. Given that GBA is an important national development strategy, I feel honored to have taken part in the trip. The visit was a demonstration of uh, improved relations between the executive and the legislature. 
as the chairman of the welfare services panel, I've uh, invited the Secretary for Labor and Welfare, Mr. Chris Swan, to go on a trip with us to GBA. In particular, those things mentioned by Ms. Lam So Wai uh, should form part of our itinerary. We should show the central authorities and also different organizations that the SAL government, the community and the legislature fully support the development and cooperation within the GBA because mainland officials may think that uh, the agreement with government with the SL government may not have the support of the legislature. More than 80 of us went on the trip to demonstrate our support for cooperation with cities in the GBA so long as the agreements are advantageous. And the media from the nation and from the city followed and covered our visit in full. Now, if we just issued a press release or give a press briefing, the media will not be able to have a good grasp of uh, the good cooperation we enjoyed. However, the team led by the chief executive has put everything into perspective and uh, we have focused on the cooperation there. And it's also an opportunity to enhance legislators' understanding of the speed and potential and achievement of uh, the mainland. Uh, we visited Huawei Town, uh, which is occupied by an enterprise I really cherish. I think we should have a university here. I was so pleased to see that Huawei has come to an agreement with our education university to uh, train our teachers to make breakthroughs in the use of ICT and INT. I also had an in-depth exchange with Hong Kong entrepreneurs in Dongguan. Now they are very outstanding in uh, being OEMs for all famous overseas brands. But they told me that they were not too familiar with the tastes and preferences of uh, this big market with 1.4 billion consumers. Now, I think this is also a wake-up call for us. We may not have a good understanding of the preferences of the mainland. And it's not just for students to know the mainland better, even Hong Kong entrepreneurs uh, should do the same. Now I have three suggestions. Hopefully there won't be any roaming charges uh, for telecommunication services within GBA. And in we should have Hong Kong centers set up in all nine cities of GBA to serve Hong Kong residents and uh, entrepreneurs here. And I also agree that in Hong Kong we should have a uh, GBA Center for nine cities to show the uh, importance we attach to them. Thank you. Mr. Chen Yong. Thank you, Mr. Deputy. I also thank the Secretary. The DAB supports Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion on uniting the executive authorities and the legislature to forge ahead with the development of the Greater Bay Area. I'm sure we are all for this motion. This is especially so after the visit to GBA cities under the leadership of the chief executive. And the GBA development is uh, designed and um, taken forward personally by President Xi himself. In the 20th report, in the report to the 20th National Party Congress, we understand that the GBA development is an important project for our integration into the overall development of the country with the 
support of presidency, we have a uh, nine plus two uh, cities in the GBA, one under one country, two systems, uh, three uh, tax territorials, and three different ju jurisdictions. We can see the potential and advantages therein. With the staunch support of Mr. John Lee, we have seen a lot of achievements. Now over a million Hong Kong residents can see their home return permits uh, extended in validity. And this is uh, a result of uh, lobbying by uh, local delegates to MPCC and also uh, Mr. John Lee. I think this is a demonstration of things that can be achieved by our solidarity. DBA has also got a book here, including all the suggestions from, DA, from DBA on development in GBA. And now I come to implementation. The executive authorities, the legislature, and also community leaders must have a macro perspective. For instance, the natural metropolis is an important development. If we can develop jointly with Shamjan, then the northern metropolis is the central point. I am familiar with uh, many uh, MPC delegates, and they're saying that the northern metropolis uh, should be called the Hong Kong metropolis of the GBA. That is a more strategic naming. And we can also incorporate and absorb the developments and opportunity in Shamjan. And so we should pull our, our wisdom together. We should achieve things speedily and efficiently in order to catch up. The two sessions have also discussed how the five-year plans can be implemented in Hong Kong that is translated into the policy address formulated by our chief executive. So that what we say here will not just be a blueprint. It will not just have expectations. We should add to it a roadmap and timetable so that we can all expect it to happen. Lastly, how can we unite further for the building of the GBA? We do not have just an anti-chamber exchange sessions on uh, the uh, coach to GBA we spent an hour discussion with the chief executive and after the football match uh, between officials and legislators we had another hour of exchange these have all helped to implement the GBA development I believe that when we stand united in implementing the GBA with proposals in the policy address, I'm sure we can realize our beautiful blueprint. Thank you. Mr. Adrian Ho. Thank you, President. I speak in support of Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion. We went on this visit to the mainland cities of the GBA under the leadership of the chief executive. It was a successful trip. I want to take this opportunity to thank the government for organizing the trip. All these happened in a short time. Legal members got a chance to visit the mainland after COVID. This shows the good interactions between the executive branch and the legislature. And this also shows our efficiency. For this visit, it's a good start for legal members to learn about the developments in other cities of the GBA. I hope that with this good experience, we now know better about the GBA. We've seen more development. We can see more similar visits like this in the future so that we can dig deeper about specific aspects, industries, and we can be more focused and 
stay attuned to the latest development so that for our entrepreneurs, young people and the wider public, we can let people here know what's going on and they can plan ahead if they want to pursue development in other parts of the GBA. For this visit, we met with the provincial leadership of Guangdong. We also visited a EV or electric vehicle company. We visited a sewage treatment plant. We also visited ancient towns, places good for selfies, places for young people, arts, culture, creativity. So we now learned a lot about the mainland, especially the GBA. This brings us up to speed, and now we get a better sense of where we stand. Now we know what our strengths are and what the strengths of the mainland cities are. And now the government know where to start, what it can take as a lever to get development going. And now we can tell how we can better contribute to our country, how we can integrate into the GBA in an interactive way. Now, some thoughts and observations during the visit. The government departments and the electrical secretariat identified places where we can learn something from, say, in Guangzhou. There's a sewage treatment plan. They put a sewage treatment plan and combine that with greening in landscaping. That's a good demonstration. For Hong Kong, we will have the northern metropolis and other large development areas. We need both development and landscaping. By doing that, we can achieve sustainable development and green development. The mainland also sees leaps and bounds in technology. Now, with work going into it, there are people pursuing work in the research. In Hong Kong, we also have entrepreneurs and people in INT. How can they achieve success and build up their business? And how can they also contribute to the country at the same time? The GPA points to the direction ahead. So I hope the government can consider the points I've just mentioned, speed up the studying of relevant options. There are firms, people with potential outside Hong Kong, bring them here so that Hong Kong can contribute to our country. And then we can perform this role that our country has given us. This means we can contribute to the GBA development and contribute to the Chinese way to modernization. I thank you, and I speak in support of the Mr. Duncan Chiu's motion. Next, Mr. Duncan Chiu. Ne Mr. Lai Tong Kwok. President, the chief executive took us on this visit to the mainland cities of the GBA. The GPA is the most open and economically vibrant part of our country. In the country's new development strategy, the GPA plays a crucial role. Hong Kong is part of the GPA. We have our part in the role to contribute to the rejuvenation of our nation. Across the world, there are other famous Bay Areas, the New York Bay Area, the Tokyo, and also the San Francisco Bay Area. There is something common about the systems. But here, we are different. Within our Bay Area, we have cities with different systems. And that's a challenge for our development. Now, let me give you an example. Now, as we were trying to build the Express Rail Link, the mainland government completed this mainland section in 2011. That's their section of the rail. We, it was supposed, we, our section was meant to be completed in 2015. But then it wasn't until 2018 that we completed our section of the express rail link. That meant higher costs, cost overruns. This also meant a link between the mainland and our West Kowloon station, a link with great strategic value. There was serious delay and, disrupt and disruption for the plans of our country. This happened before the plan about the Greater Bay development. This points to a weakness. In Guangzhou, Macau, and Hong Kong, there are institutional differences between these three places. If we want to work together, we need to put in more work. If one side drags its feet, it will slow down the development of the entire GBA. Luckily, our country has made the arrangement at the top level. Now, since the outline plan of the GBA was signed in 2017, President Xi Jinping on multiple occasions 
made important directions. He made it clear that we have to head in a direct way. In 2019, the outline plan was officially released for the GBA. In the same year, the State Council had this leading group on the development of the GBA. Regular meetings were held. They looked into plans and key steps for the GBA to take. In 2021, the NPC, or National People's Congress, adopted the outline for the development of the GBA. And this is a standalone part in the plan. So for the next five years, there are blueprints and action plans for the GBA. With the full support of our central authorities, for the, so for the Hong Kong government, what's left for us to do is to improve our dialogue with the Macau and Guangzhou government. We need timetables. We need to strengthen our executive capacity. We need timely delivery of policies so that we do not end up holding back the development of everyone else in the GBA. For us in LegCo, we have to do our part. We need to reflect the views of our stakeholders. Last Friday, the subcommittee on the GBA matter submitted the report. 60 recommendations were made in that report covering areas such as support of finance, innovation and technology, in the legal sector, all the way to welfare, healthcare, education. All these are covered under that report. President, there are differences between different parts of a GBA. That means challenges. But then Hong Kong, Macau and the other nine cities of the GBA share the same cultural origins and we're the same nation once we overcome the hurdles and get ahead with greater bay area development hong kong will be able to better integrate into national development and that also means as part of our country's development we will see a continuous stream of momentum for our growth and we will see long-term success and prosperity I hope that in the future, we can visit other parts of the GBA, places we haven't had a chance to visit, to foster exchanges and contribute our part to GBA development. I so submit, President. Mr. Peter Xu. Thank you, President. I thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for his motion on uniting the executive branch and the legislature in developing the GBA. I fully support his motion. We went on this visit to the mainland cities of the GBA with the chief executive. Actually, previously, I was with Mr. Edward Yao to the mainland. So this trip is not the first visit with both legal members and the government. But I have a different experience this time. This time, the chief executive led the tour. And during the trip, it was all cordial, all collegial among lawmakers and officials. We visited many different places. It was a four-day visit. I'm grateful to the Shenzhen officials and the officials from Dongguan, Foshan, Guangzhou. They arranged the trips, and I'm also grateful to the firms that received us. We can see the latest developments of those firms in the mainland. We now have patriots administering Hong Kong, which is vastly different from what we had in the past. During the visit, we saw much that we could learn from. I believe this will not be the only occasion. I hope there will be more opportunities with a 9 plus 2 set up in the Greater Bay Area, and we are part of it, how do we deliver what's in the 14th Five Year Plan and the, and the spirit of the 20th Party Congress and the two sessions? To achieve that, we need the, work, the legislature and the executive branch working together to get there. We need to work together. We've learned much from our visit. So in the future, when the government needs assistance, 
in policy making. We have lawmakers who have seen, who have experienced what's in the mainland, and then we will have an easier time with the discussions in the future. We have seen innovation, technology, green development, youth development, arts and culture, sports, and other firms. Now, as Mr. Duncan Chu has already summarized, we visited many places. I'm from the business sector, so I want to focus more on business. In this year's two sessions, our country highlighted the economy, especially the dual circulation strategy. We need to focus on the domestic circulation and also the international circulation. Hong Kong is part of our country for the domestic circulation. We are part of it. And as for the international circulation, Hong Kong is an east meets west place. We have quality goods, quality services here in Hong Kong. So we are a super connector. How do we promote the GPA's development? We can contribute in our way. Our country is aiming for high quality development and also focus on innovation and development. Mr. Duncan Chu is the expert here. Apart from innovation and technology, integration in businesses can also contribute. For me, I'm from a retail sector. We have 7 million people here. In the Greater Bay Area, there are 70 million people. And in the, for the country as a whole, it's 1.4 billion people. If we can enter those markets, that means boundless opportunities for business. For those in the export business, if they sell goods to the U.S., in some places in the U.S. and Europe, they make life difficult for our exporters. They want us to relocate our manufacturing base to other parts of Asia, otherwise they refuse our orders. So I advise those in the sector to integrate into the Greater Bay Area and also be part of the Belt and Road Initiative. That In that way, they will not see their orders cancelled all of a sudden for political reasons. So integration of our country and the GBA is the way out. Ms. Lillian Kwok. Ms. Kwok. Thank you, President. First of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Duncan Chiu for moving the motion on uniting the executive and the legislature in the development of the GBA. It's mentioned in the 20th uh, Party Congress report that support will be given to, to Hong Kong to develop GBA. In April, uh, President Xi visited uh, Guangdong, and he said that the development of uh, GBA was important. We need to achieve uh, high quality development so that the, so that the country can be self reliant. In the new development layout, the GBA occupies a strategic position. Hong Kong is a city in the GBA. We have the advantage of one country, two systems. If we um, well, we can uh, through development of the GBA integrate into national development. It's better to learn by traveling than just um, uh, reading books. I thank the chief executive for leading the delegation to visit GBA so that we can have first-hand experience. We visited a number of uh, advanced enterprises, um, um, a sewage treatment plant that is underground. Uh, E-Hub and uh, Green Projects. We have had uh, great exchanges on the development of GBA. We can learn a lot from the GBA, deve uh, GBA development. In order to promote full development of the GBA, I think that uh, we need to work on mutual access. And I have some suggestions. First, we need to establish good communication mechanism. Well, of course, it's important to have a good executive and legislature relationship. But uh, between Hong Kong and other mainland cities, in terms of government communication, that's very important. We can make use of different avenues to enhance communication 
um, of the cities in the three areas and to enhance cooperation, especially innovation and technology cooperation. We can also enhance uh, liaison with uh, logistics and transport, just like the logistic park in Dongguan. We can work together um, to develop our industries and have complementary development, which in turn will boost the development in the region. We can also promote a, promote a GBA standard. GBA standard can help um, turn, hong, turn a GBA into a, a f world class uh, region. This can enhance the quality of product services, can protect public health, and this also provides us important technological support. The three places have announced that there are 110 uh, GBA standards. But we need to make good use of these standards. We have to speed up uh, research and development of uh, GBA standards. We need to um, uh, we need to enable um, mutual recognition. There is also the flow of people through examinations and uh, qualification recognition those who are qualified can um, obtain mainland qualification but the scope of uh, recognition is limited and this uh, hinders our integration into the GBA so we need to review um, different positions in emerging industries we need to incorporate uh, more professional professions in the mutual recognition uh, scheme we need to enhance our education and uh, promotion. Apart from support from the government, we also need participation of different quarters of society. We need to enhance understanding of the GPA. We need to forge consensus uh, on a territory-wide basis so that we can all work together to promote the GPA. I suggest to the government that uh, promo uh, promotional work needs to be enhanced. Understanding of the GPA should be should be enhanced, there should be uh, more activities in different forms so that children from a young age will get a good understanding of the GBA so that they will fully integrate into the lives of GBA and in turn develop GBA. We need to seize the opportunities of uh, GBA so that we can take off again. We are, one of the city, we are one of the places in the GBA. We need to integrate into national development so that we can have uh, we can promote Chinese modernization. The most important thing is to give better lives to our people. I speak to support the motion. Mr. S S Hoi Li. Thank you. Thank you, President. I thank Mr. Chiu for moving the motion. When it comes to GBA, then we need to think why was that the GBA? Presidency in the new journey, in a new chapter of the opening up and reform, used GBA as a pilot project. Of over 40 years, we've, achieved, we've made great achievements in opening up and reform, but that's based on the um, uh, large labor population exploits of natural resources. But this Development approach is not sustainable. So, well, there is this uh, pilot project at the news stage when we have the Hong An uh, new development besides the GBA, but GBA is different, it's uh, special because there are three customs territories, three currencies, three different legal jurisdictions. So how can we make good use of the integration of the three different territories and jurisdictions? That's the um, that's hinges. Well, the success hinges on that. If we do, if we do not uh, distinguish ourselves from different places, then we can't play into our advantage. That's why the GBA with these different territories and jurisdictions is a is a one of a kind. How can we promote integration of these different territories and jurisdictions? We need to make use of uh, different merits. What does that mean? I'm sure that you have gone to Zhuhai or Macau using the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. 
Have you have that? Has it occurred to you what、uh, standard is adopted for the bridge? You can't use、uh, for this section is the standard of Hong Kong, and then the next、um, Macanese standard, and the last one Mainland standard. But、well, we use the best one. Say、uh, in Hong Kong, there is a requirement of lifespan of one hundred and twenty. In on the mainland, there there's a requirement of a, a lifespan of the surface、uh, span of、um, the bridge one hundred years. There is none for Macau, so the best standards is a is adopted for that bridge one hundred and twenty years. So. Well, we need to align the different standards. Say、um, legal profession, legal professions, and the second area is related to livelihood issues.、Um, there is the Hong Kong Yushenzhen Hospital. This is the first hospital to allow、um, mainland doctors、uh, to prescribe Hong Kong registered drugs to treat mainland patients. This has, this has.、Um, Achieved breakthrough in the convention in healthcare. We can take a step forward. Under the principle of merit, we can choose the best、uh, system for for use in the GBA. You can't imagine that in Guangdong Province that there will be two systems. And of course, the GBA standard、uh, will expand. It's difficult to imagine. That the Guangdong approach is、uh, superior to other systems in cities of the mainland, and we can see that、um, for this pilot scheme, once the best is used, a similar approach will be used in other places, so that、uh, the best system is chosen for the different air、uh, developments. So I suggest that the legislature and the executive、um, to work on mutual recognition of、uh, systems and qualifications. This will enable integration of development of the two places, and we can make use of、uh, our advantage to con to contribute to national development. Using GBA and ex as an example, we can achieve high quality development. I so submit to support、uh, Mr. Chiu's motion, Mr. Gary Zhang. Thank you, President. I support Mr. Chiu's motion on uniting the executive and the legislature in the development of the GBA. This is a major direction. We all agree with it. But if we want to succeed, we need details. I'd like to make use of this opportunity to talk about an important item. On Monday, together with、uh, some other legislators and representatives of、uh, our professionals, we went went to Chong Chongying Street, which is a closed、um, area. It's a very special street. On one side, you have mainland shops and residents. On the other side, you have mainland shops and、uh, residents. It's renowned for its cultural characteristics. It's also an example of the success of the GBA. Shatao Cog is hidden is hiding under the veil of mystery. Well, with the、uh, gradual opening up of closed、um, areas, we we all get a better understanding of Shatao Cog. And I would like to talk about、uh, development opportunities of Shantou Park. Chongying Street should be the center. Taking into account the、uh, special cultural characteristics, tourism should be promoted, which in turn will promote development of different、um, areas in the community. This can be a pilot scheme. The Shatou Park closed area. Can take reference from the Shenzhen Shatou Park closed area and its special management approach. The closed area can be kept, but the checkpoint on the Hong Kong side should be scrapped. 
um, pa a clearance uh, should be streamlined so that there can be a special region uh, in Sha Tao Kok in the Hong Kong SAR. But now the focus is on um, impact on tourism and the, econ and the economy after the um, opening up of a closed area. But very little attention is paid to the residents. We are people oriented. We are policy makers. The lives of residents is very important. Is very important. So we need to take care of them. Under the government approach, apart from Chongying Street, Shatao Kok will be fully opened. Shatao Kok is a village type residential area. Even with a full opening up of. Um, Chongying Street, there is limited um, commercial value and the capacity is limited as well. If there is a full opening of closed area and if there is no immigration control, then the receiving capacity of Chantal Kok may be overloaded. People will flock there. Uh, to look to see what it's like. There will be adverse impact. Parks and uh, coastal areas will be flooded with tourists and residents will have to wait for a very long time just to take the minibus back to town. Ushatokok is very small. Once you've been there, um, well, not many people will want to return there. So this kind of approach is unsustainable. We need new proposals, say, for example, working with Shenzhen to turn Shadowcock into a special region in a special region. Then all the problems I've outlined can be resolved. We can keep um, the closed area we can we streamline the clearance procedure but we can put a quota on the number of visitors this can ensure sustainable development of the area at the same time we can keep it a mysterious keep its a mysterious element it will keep its uh, attraction to visitors and the advantage of uh, Hong Kong and Shenzhen um, can be combined together. Stop, please. Mr. Li Chenke, in April, the chief executive led a visit to mainland cities in the GB, I was able to witness the rapid development of the mainland. I can also appreciate the hard work they have put in for this success. It also uh, caused me to realize that we must catch up because we have fallen behind. Most important of all, we must grasp the opportunities brought about the uh, one of the GBA development, and we must uh, integrate into the dual circulation and the overall development pattern of the country so that we can also contribute to the development of the country. We are part of the GBA. Government departments uh, should not uh, consider the GBA development and we should not view ourselves independently. In fact, uh, the uh, northern metropolis will be a core metropolis of GPA. We must adopt a broader horizon and discuss with various governments in the GPA. There must be good division of labor instead of vicious competition. After completion of the tour, I've been pondering, within GPA, must we have a higher level coordinator to avoid unnecessary or excessive subsidies from individual governments leading to waste of resources and we must have proper delineation of duties to ensure that small gates will open after the overall gate is open. Now, most important for the SL government must uh, utilize our advantages around the country to system so that we can have high quality development of GBA. We can promote the upgrading and transformation of various industries and to promote the interflow of capital and talent and resources. 
for interflow of uh, human resources, we must achieve mutual recognition of professional qualifications and the use of um, software and apps like I'm Smart uh, should uh, be made easier. And we should also relax the e health uh, record system to facilitate Hong Kong residents to receive hospital treatment across the border. We all want to enjoy the convenience of um, better immigration procedures. We should have more collocation of uh, immigration and, and custom facilities. This is particularly so for the future northern metropolis to promote the flow of people and goods. We must enhance communication with Guangdong, Shenzhen, Zhuhai, and the um, different developments of airports in these five cities so that we can have a good division of labor, we can complement one another, we can have mutual uh, benefits to avoid the um, waste of resources because of duplication of roads. Uh, we should develop intermodal pattern to encourage people to make flight transits in Hong Kong. We can then further strengthen our position as an aviation hub. As regards capital, during COVID-19, many people uh, have reflected the fact that they could not withdraw their deposits in mainland banks, and they had to travel to the mainland to withdraw money. Some people had to borrow money from relatives and friends in order to engage in property transactions. We must provide more support so that people can uh, be facilitated in residing in the mainland. Digitalization is an inevitable trend. The Hong Kong SL government should make use of the unique advantages given to us under the 14th five-year plan to develop Hong Kong into a digital hub and to enhance development in uh, areas such as uh, life sciences and uh, life health technology. Different cities have their different strengths. Chongshan is good in uh, manufacturing of lighting and Foshan new energy, etc. Hopefully we can have in-depth visits to cities in GBA, and we can have a deeper cooperation with these cities. In particular, we must help Hong Kong enterprises and Hong Kong people developing in the GBA so that uh, we can really achieve uh, the fact of one plus one is greater than one. The meeting is now adjourned until tomorrow.